This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody, we are back for another game of Sharp Practice with Rich from Two Fat Lardies. Uh, Rich, where are we at today? We've gone back in time to the 18th century today. Um, one of the things I've really enjoyed with my own playing of Sharp Practice is there's loads of periods of history that I've always fancied doing stuff with, but normally you need huge armies for them. Mm. And I've always fancied doing Seven Years' War with Frederick the Great and all those kind of little German principalities, that sort of middle Europa thing. Okay. So here we've got the forces of Strudelheim against the Grand Duchy of Asbach Uralt. So, <laughs> we, something like that, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, and we've got a situation where the Strudelheimers have developed their own WMD, oh. a weapon of maximum dubiousness, it, uh, and it's pointed towards... Is, it, is that a uh, Wunderwaffen? <laughs> it, it is a Wunderwaffen, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, we're not really sure, because the problem is that the artillerists who've been sent to uh, to work it haven't read the manual. <laughs> so that is fortunate for the guys over at uh, Underberg or Alt or wherever it is <laughs> they're coming from, because they've sent a force, a Freikorps force of mercenaries, right. to try and take out the Wunderwaffe before the Strudelheimers work out how on earth to fire it at their capital. Um, <laughs> Why do I have the feeling that just off table in that general direction sort of area, my castle's sitting? It is. Well, actually, yours is that way. I oh, know yours is that way. Yeah, yeah, mine's right. that way. Mine's this way. way. Yeah. Well, well we went that way. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing with these German principalities. They're about four hundred yards by eight hundred yards, and that's <laughs> kind of it. So we're definitely pointed in your direction, and yep. we're confident that if we can get this to fire, it's going to blow up your castle. So uh, right. you clearly don't want that because you haven't got a spare. Well, you see, I, I just hope it's not a gas bomb, because otherwise that's the longest range fart in history. <laughs> it, could, it could be. That could be the way it's powered. They're, they're not sure yet. They're, they're still working on the manual. So, so are you going to get there in time? Are you going to dismantle the, the uh, WMD before we can get to fire it in your general direction? Mm. That's the question. <laughs> to do that, you've got a force. And this is, this is kind of what I was saying a little bit earlier. Mm. 40 men is your core force. Yeah. You've got three groups of eight Fusiliers, mm -hmm. you've got two groups of eight uh, Croats. And uh, just to go with them, a couple of support options, you've got half a dozen uh, Feldjäger, mm -hmm. and you've got a unit of cavalry under Freiherr von Kraken. But it's only eight men, so it's not. No, I'm not too worried about it riding me over yet. But if I get a bit shaky, maybe that's time to unleash von Kraken. Mm. Well, you see, th this is the thing with sharp practice having that that sort of <laughs> dual activation possibility. Mm. Mm. I did, yeah, I'm looking at it going, oh, could I maybe get a double run with the cavalry? Well, that's the one. That's what you want. That's what you want. Right. So we're going to be facing you off with a pretty similar size force. We've got mm. three units of our own uh, fusiliers and we've got two units of border grenzers and then we've got a couple of units of grenzer skirmishers we'd like to be able to aim this at you but frankly the range is about uh, five miles so we're not going to be able to fire anything on the table with it but uh, hopefully we can intimidate you by waving it about but, yeah, but it's big it's spiky it's, it's pointy absolutely so rockets are meant to be pointy i think <laughs> that's the one so there we go so what we've done yep We've got our force morale sorted out. For the purpose of this game, we normally roll the dice to see where we're going, but we're going straight in, both of us on a force morale of nine, mm. uh, to get us cracking. And what we've done today for a change is we're using poker chips rather than cards. Which, well, really? Yeah, there we go. So I can, I can put them in my luxury poker, poker chip bag. That is actually quite nice. It is quite, quite then, nice. If you have a look at the actual poker chips, yeah. what's in there? So there we go. Rather than having leader one, leader two, leader three, we've got numbers on, we can see what mm. colour, and the flags are just the same as we get on the cards, so we can leave those chips in play. Lovely. So it's one of those situations. Some mm. people like shuffling cards and dealing cards. Some people have got that sort of Las Vegas touch. Mm. Some people prefer just to have a bit of a rummage around in a bag and pull them out randomly. Well, here, here's the question. Mm. Am I red or blue? Uh, you are blue. Okay. And my force, largely dressed in red, are red. is red. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to double check, just so there's no confusion. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... Uh, it, we, it, we, the forces are always red or blue. And mm. what normally 
happens is they do in this kind of horse and musket period tend to either somehow be wearing red or blue because that's kind of the way it goes if, if it's an easy day to make it, it certainly is well clearly right okay <laughs> so we're going to start off by pulling the first chip from the bag and that is blue leader five blue leader five. now blue leader five is uh, one of the Freikorps von Secker guys, actually Jägermeister Jürgen Kellermann. Now, yeah, I was going to try this in a horrible German accent, but okay, <laughs> you beat me to it. Kellermann uh, the Sellerman, they call him. All right, so that is my skirmisher. That's course, your yeah? skirmishers, yeah. Now, you've got two deployment points on the mm. table. Interesting, you've got your primary deployment point over here. Now, that represents your lines of communication mm. as well as where you can deploy from. It's the point you want to... Uh, guard mm. because if I capture that that means you've got you can't retreat back to your castle over there but you've also got a secondary deployment point which is here by uh, by this little chapel in the woods mm -hmm. but that's kind of hidden away by a secret path and the only people that can take your forces there funnily enough are your Jaegers because they're well-known woodsmen mm. used to moving about in mysterious ways in trees mm -hmm. so if you want to use this uh, secondary deployment point mm. then you would have to lead in through there with your Jaegers which represents them leading the rest of the force via the sneaky cir circuitous route I think I, I will place my Jaegers in through there then Okay, and you, as you may well know, you can deploy nine inches from there because you are light troops. Mm -hmm. But if you're out of line of sight of my deployment points, then you can actually increase that by another six inches. So that would make that 15 inches. Ooh, and lovely. at this stage of the battle, that could really start pushing things up. Okay, so 15 inches, that's actually a fair whack away that from is. that. So let's have a look at where my deployment points are. Well, I've got my primary one is here on the road, because mm -hmm. this is a road back to my castle. Yep. And I've got a secondary one over here in the woods, um, which again, if I'm going to use this, I need my Grenzer skirmishers mm. uh, to Do lead that. the way through this. But we'll see. So you can uh, Yeah, you can so I've got 15, 15 inches from, from there. there. Yeah. Mm. So I think what I'm going to do is, 15 inches, where will that get me to? So mm. I could go all the way up to here. You could. But I think I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be mm. quite so gung-ho. <laughs> uh, wrong time period. I think I'll put my guys here. Okay. Just looking over this fence at you. Yeah. Or in fact, I could put them in behind the fence in you the little could. orchard yeah, here. You could so do. I think I will do that. Let's kind of move those, those yeah. orchardy trees about. It's 15. Right. So that yeah. gets you up to here. Yeah. And I'll pop them in. Right. Lined up against that fence there. So that's pretty in your face, isn't it, really? You're putting me under a bit of pressure immediately with a with a bit of a, a rapid rush forward. That's the advantage of these troops mm. who've got that capability to find those little back passes and to lead the, the whole army round. Mm. And that's really given you a, first, a great first card out of the deck. Yeah, well, it, it also means that I may have a little bit of cover to start with as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, blue flag? Blue flag. So we'll pop that down there. That's a blue flag. You can't do anything with a single blue flag yet because mm -hmm. you haven't got a leader's card out. So that stays in play. Mm -hmm. Okay, next card out. It's a red one. It's a red one. A red what? It's red. It's red. It's red seven, which is Gefreiter. Seven standing by. Gefreiter. Bebo Babich. Bebo Babich. Bebo Babich. Oh, I love these names. <laughs> This is, uh, well, there, we're in Middle Europa. You've got to have great names like Bebo Babich. Mm -hmm. And he is actually in charge of some of the Grenzers. So he's going to deploy from here. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to deploy within nine inches because I reckon he can see you there. Um, well, actually, we can see, yeah, we can see up to six inches into an orchard, and you're definitely in an orchard. Yeah. So Bebo Babich is going to come on here with his guys, mm -hmm. and he's going he's gonna to shoot you in a, in a very unwelcoming manner. Oopsies. <laughs> so, there we go. There's Bebo Babich and his guys. Right, now, as we know, we've got six guys there, so we roll six dice. Mm -hmm. And Bebo Babich is status one leader, so he's going to add one dice to that. Ah. So that becomes seven dice. Now, are we within 12? We are. So we're within 12, which means that's close range. These guys are armed with muskets. You guys are actually armed with rifles. Lovely. Um, so it means that we are firing at close range. Mm. We're firing, um, on, hitting on four, five, and six. Mm. Now, if these guys were light infantry, they'd get a plus one, but they're not actually. They're just skirmishers. Mm. You guys are actually really good quality light infantry, nice. so you'll get a bonus. So we're still on four, five, six. But it is the first time we fired, so we get a plus one for that. So okay. we're hitting on threes. With our seven dice, how are we going to do? One, two, three, four, five. Five hits. Now, you guys are in light cover here, but you are 
skirmish troops. Mm -hmm. Skirmish troops are always assumed to be making the best of the cover that's available. Yep. So you actually increase your cover level to hard cover. So you're only going to shock on fives and die on sixes. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how that runs. Right. Well, couldn't be better from your Adding point in the of orchards. view. Couldn't Plenty be worse from there. my point of view. So we'll move on rapidly with another card out the back. Oh, here we go. Red one. Red one. Obers Leopold von Habsburg. Oh. Sounds important, and he certainly is. He's the main commander of my force who's going to turn up with the Strudelheim Fusiliers. Oh, lovely. <laughs> it does sound nice, doesn't it? Right, so he's going to deploy six inches from his deployment point. Mm -hmm. This is another reason that I put these guys here, because it gives them such yeah. a great line of sight through well, do the you know what? One of the support options I've chosen uh -huh. was this barricade to put across the road, uh -huh. which is a great idea, apart from the fact that I now want to come out up the road and the blooming barricade's right in my way, <laughs> so I've got, I've got to think about how I do that. So I'm not actually going to go that way. I'm going to have to kind of come round a sort of circuitous route because I've blocked myself in. <laughs> right, that was well thought out. So... Here we go, we've got our Strudelheim Fusiliers, and he's going to come on with all of his men there. Right, now are they in column, I assume? Well, they're in a kind of dubious column, because they're having to fit up this narrow passageway. <laughs> but, um... I'm uh, sure you can squeeze through that. Yeah, I'm sure they can. I'm not going to turn them all around to face in the right direction. And he's bringing on his two subordinates. One of the things I really wanted to do with my force was keep my Fusiliers really really under tight control mm. so i one of the support options i've chosen is an extra leader to go with them uh, and i'm hoping housekeeping. doing the housekeeping exactly right i'm hoping that's going to keep them unshockable um unshockable. okay so on they come that's what they've done and yep. the next card out next card out is blue two blue now two. blue two is sigval goring who is a farnentrager mm. uh, and he is the second in command of your main musketeer force Yes. Uh, so you could bring him on with one of those groups of musketeers as a kind of subordinate off on a special mission, or you could wait until his boss, the colonel, is activated. I'm going to keep my powder dry. Yeah, I think keeping your powder dry is probably pretty wise for that one. Okay, Red 2. Now, Red 2, that's my second in command over here. Mm -hmm. That's Lieutenant Rudolphus, and he is, he's already been activated in this turn, so we leave that and we move on. So red we've flag. got a red flag for me. So one blue flag out for you. We've got a blue six. It's Freiherr Augustin von Kraken. Von Kraken is your cavalry commander. Now, are you going to are you going to be dashing and charge into my <laughs> into my barricade? <laughs> I think this is one of those cases of bet beggar go home. Yeah. So yeah, uh, how far can they deploy? Well, uh, they are dragoons. They can deploy twelve inches from the deployment point, mm. and you can actually then. Um, add an extra six if you're out of sight of my troops or my deployment markers. I think I won't mm. be out of sight. Mm. So what I'll do is, yep. from where he is, 12 inches. Yep. He's going to just come straight up through the fields here. Right. So, like so. Yep. We'll line up there. Okay. And I have quite the bit of cavalry here. I'm just going to sheep run away. Oh, sheep worrying. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> So they will come up along here, and I will actually swing them back a little bit just so they're a little better turned for the tabletop. Okay, great. Now the next next card out, no, the next poker chip out, we call them cards because the rules say cards, mm. is another blue flag. So you've got two blue flags. That would allow you to activate any unit on the table that hasn't yet been activated. They all have, though. But they all have. It would also allow you to do certain sort of upgrade bonus things. So if your musketeers came on, mm. you could use that to fire a crashing volley if we were within range. Which I see. We're probably not at the moment. So we'll leave that in play. Another blue flag. Ooh. Three blue flags now. That allows you to activate a leader who hasn't yet been activated. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanted, you could activate um, one of your leaders who isn't yet on the table and bring them on. Mm. So you get, getting my forces on the table and starting to get them into position mm. is looking very tempting right now. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I think I will. Mm. So I'll activate leader one. Yeah, which great is idea. That's Mossa Oberst, Mossack Fonseca. Yeah. 
Okay, that name. <laughs> uh, so he will deploy with his guys. So it's just six inches? Yeah, he can deploy six inches. And if you're out of line of sight of me, you can make that 12 inches. And uh, do my guys block line of sight here? Um, well, not well, really, but he kind of, if you came over here, you, you would be able to deploy there. But no, I think I want to just, I want to start marching up the road. Okay, right. Well, marching so, up the road is probably good from there then, isn't it? Yeah, so six inches is a bit there. Okay. Everybody right. will build backwards from that. Right, brilliant. So what's next? Okay, so next we have a red flag. So that gives me two red flags in play. You use your blue flag, so there's no blue flags out at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here we have it. The magical green... Tiffin. Tiffin token. So I've got two red flags. That ends the turn, but it doesn't quite, because any red flags in play allow me to activate any unit on the table that's not yet been activated. Yeah. However, first turn out, we kind of activated everybody. We had to have done because they've deployed on the table. So we put it back in the magic sack. Yeah, and I think I made the right choice there. Because then you it definitely did. To get the you activation. definitely did. So getting your main force on the table. That's the thing about those command flags. It's how you use them. Do I use them now to get an immediate benefit, or do I hang on hoping to get a bigger benefit but yeah. potentially lose it completely? Which yeah. is exactly what you would have done if you if you'd mm. hung on. So that was definitely the right thing to do. Right, first card out is Red Leader 4. Red Leader 4 is Feldwebel Josip Pavlek. Now, Josip Pavlek is the second in command of your um, your Croats, mm. uh, the green um, Croats. He, his commander's just asking him for a bit of a report back at camp. Right, fine. So he's making sure the men's uniforms are neat and tidy he's and doing just, what... We have to look spiffing today on the battle. Doing what good sergeants do. Right. Oh, nice card out for me. Red, red one. one. Big red one. It's... Uh, Leopold von Habsburg. Mm -hmm. Now, I kind of, this dancing off down Pasha's ways looked a great idea when I only had your Jaegers on, but now you're bowling up the road. I'm not sure. I don't really want to be the grand old Duke of York and march him in one direction and then march back the other way. So yep. I'm still going to go this way and hope that my Grenzers come on and man the barricade. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm not marching on a road, so I'm marching in column. I do that. So I go eight inches and I'll move these guys over here. And they will, uh, they'll kind of yep. follow up, form a more tidy column than they have <laughs> while they're going down the alleyway. See, this this is the thing with some of these. Uh, sometimes your terrain will get a little in the way, but mm. it's a friendly game, so just work around it with your opponent. Absolutely. Well, I think the the thing was, it's uh, it's fairly clear they were moving in column. And yeah. Right. Yeah, they would squidge up. They'd squidge up exactly. Yeah. Right. Next out. Okay, yeah, on we go. Red, oh, it's red. What is it? It's a flag. red flag. I'll take red that. Red flag. Uh, nothing to do with that yet, though. Red Next one out. Four. Red four. Now, red four is Josip Pavlek. Uh, sorry, no, it's not. It's my red four, isn't it? It's Vadislaus von Frankenstein. Von the Frankenstein? Von Frankenstein. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a member of the family. <laughs> now, he is leading my Grenzer forces. So he's going to deploy, because he's within line of sight of you, he can only go six inches, but he's going to lead them up to the barricade. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put, put him up there. Yeah. I'm glad he's on, because uh, I was a bit worried you were going to march straight down that road, because when you were in column on road, you can move with 3d6. Mm -hmm. So with a good roll, you could have been right up there. Uh, okay, let's head I on. I could still be right up there. I might <laughs> just take it on the chin. You could indeed. Red right. flag. Two red flags in play. I could activate any unit on the table. Now, I'm kind of tempted to activate my Grenz, my Grenz of Skirmishers and shoot at you again. But to be honest with you, I know that if, because I've got flags in play, I know that if the Tiffin card comes up, I'll be able to do that. So I'm just going to carry on. Right. Another red flag. Oh, same thing. I could activate a leader not yet activated. Mm. That Someone would, off the board. yeah, that would allow me to bring on Mitchek Kovac and his Grenzer skirmishers. But I don't think I'm going to. Okay. Okay. A blue, blue flag. flag. Oof. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now we've had three flags in a row. Yeah. That means we've got a random event. Three okay. flags in a row of whatever colour means we've got a random event. Now the last unit activated was von Habsburg. Yep. So we're going to roll two dice to see what the random event is. Four. It's four. Okay. Well, as he's moving through the as he's moving through that passageway, he was accidentally barged down by his men. Oh. Now, uh, that's unfortunate because in the next in the next turn, time he's activated, all he can do is dust himself off and get up. Mm. So my column is kind of in a bit of disorder as a result of that. Yeah. So as as uh, 
as a random event it's not a major thing it's not kind of an atomic bomb going off which ends the game but it is kind of a little annoyance where uh, yeah you're just held up while he gets back on that's the horse. while he gets back on his horse exactly so you can see these guys hustling their way down that back passage there and then knocking him over right okay red okay. six red six is Mitchek Kovac well I'm glad I hung on yeah because uh, Mitchek Kovac is gonna bring his guys on over here now he can come on nine inches because he's controlling light forces. Ah, so you're coming down here around the front of the church? But, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to sneak around here. So Fair enough. He's coming on there. I think All I right. may be able to do something with that. Yeah, we're looking to get in a position to cover that road. Mm -hmm. Right, ooh, red five. Igor Horvat. Mm -hmm. Right. Igor Horvat is actually the second in command of these uh, Grenzer troops. Ah, uh, so this so, one in the middle. Yeah, so they've got. He's got nothing to do at the moment. They haven't got any shock, so he hasn't got any housekeeping to do. Next card out is a blue flag. Now you've kind of. I've had a really good run of cards this turn. Mm. You might want to think, okay, I want to activate somebody who's on the table, or you might want to hang on because you know you can activate two units you see at that, the end that, of the that turn. That Tiffin's still pretty low odds. It is, especially as the next card out is von Secker, Mossack von Secker's card. Yep. So, three, three dice, dice if, you, if you're staying, if you're spending a whole turn moving in column, three dice. Yep. I will, I'm gonna yeah. risk it for a turn. I think I can Yeah, well I'm not, in, I'm not in the line to receive you yet, so now's the time to make up that ground, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so oh. big roll, 12 inches. Yep, that'll work really well for me. So 12 inches, where's that gonna right. go? Right, excellent. So. Is that going to bring me? Yes. Nice. Right down the road. And getting in close. Yeah. While and you're I doing that, I'll pull the next card so we can start thinking about it. Right. Well, next one out. Blue five. Jürgen Kellerman. So Kellerman over here with his Feldjäger. Mm -hmm. Now, do I have to keep my leaders on the road with them? Yeah. Yeah, they've got to stay with them. Yeah. Oh, no, no, but I mean actually moving them on the road because no, I had him attached to You can put him there. That's fine. That's and absolutely fine. Yeah. They're kind of... Um, uh, that's kind of an indication of where they are. It doesn't, okay. doesn't you don't have to be precise about that. Okay, so this was red mm. five. That's Kellerman. That's it's Kellerman the Cellerman. Right, uh, they'll take the one d six of movement. Yeah, because they get a free, always get a free action of movement. It's like a third action because they're light skirmish troops. They can move about a bit more effectively. So take your one d six. One d six. Oh, <laughs> throw the dice away. <laughs> four inches. Okay, four inches. So where are you That'll going? Enough. This way. Yeah, yeah, they're just going to go right. right up to that uh, that bit of right. barricade okay, there. Great. So these guys are moving through the orchard, so they can you can see out from within six inches of the edge of the orchard. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Now Kellerman is uh, a status one leader, so these guys would fire with six dice for six men plus one for his. So that's seven dice, and you are at close range. You're going to hit on th three, four, five, and six because you're light troops but it's also your first fire it so is. anything but a one is gonna uh, hit me and this is mm -hmm. so they can do a control volley for the first only uh no because the guys you're looking at there on your roster are those guys oh, the Feldjäger. The Feldjäger, yeah. they do not yeah. control volleys they don't do control volleys because they're it's very unusual for the skirmish troops to do a control volley because you really got to be in line doing present and all so that. they're just going to keep cycling yeah they're just going to keep cycling but remember they have got rifles, rifles. so first action shoot second first action, action half reload section action half reload so yep. let's put that in front to show we've got one yep. action left away you go See what we get anything but ones oh two ones that's handy for me nevertheless five hits and at that range oh, sniff at. yeah exactly now you do have a little cover i do which means you're in hard cover it means so these guys are in hard cover and remember they're forming a skirmish screen which means these guys behind them who are kind of in the kill zone yeah. are also getting hard cover because the skirmishers ah. shield them so we're going to put one on these these uh grenzer skirmishers which is one shock on them, so we'll Fair enough. apply our shock marker. And then the guys in the column behind, front unit is nothing, second unit is nothing, and third unit ooh, man dead. is a man dead. And we've got a leader with them, so let's just check. Not him. No, not him, thank goodness. <laughs> right, so... Ah, no, here's a question. Mm. So, because of the event of your leader falling off his horse, yeah. is that a bad thing to happen, Roll? No. Okay, that's no, fair enough. That's a hilarious thing to happen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. 
but no he's uh, he's not wounded or anything it's just uh, it's just unfortunate and slightly grimy right another blue flag another blue flag now I'm gonna hang on I'm gonna hang on you're gonna hang on yeah keep it on All right okay and red two now red two is the second in command here that's uh, uh, Rudol Lieutenant Rudolphus now if these guys had taken any shock He'd in this formation up. he could he could tidy that up mm -hmm. it, he's he's actually attached to this second group but as ah. they're in formation he's attached he can sh rally shock off any yeah. group within that formation yeah um, but they haven't got any shocks so there's nothing for him to do he's really there for when the action gets hot and he can keep the unit in Mm -hmm. in fighting fit order. Ah. Uh, second in command there, Farnan Targa, Sigvald Goring, That's the gentleman here. who's exactly the same situation. Mm -hmm. Second in command, we're not really in the teeth of action yet, so nothing for him to do because no shock on that unit. Yeah. Keep right, going. okay. Ooh. Boom. That is what I was waiting for. Ah, oh, Brucey bonus time. Yes. It's, so it's four blue flags. So any leader that you've already got uh, any leader who has been activated yep. can take a bonus action, or mm -hmm. you can activate any leader who hasn't been activated. So you could, if you wanted, bring on your green Croats, or you could do the more the uh, the more flamboyant thing. Oh no, I'll do the more flamboyant thing because yeah. I'm looking at the Croats and I'm thinking, you know what? <laughs> They'll make a decent reserve. Yeah, they if certainly will. Things start to go pear shaped, and I can bring in a fresh yeah, unit you that can. I haven't been getting shot at all. That's game. true. That's very true. And now's the time because I'm kind of quite clearly in complete disorder yep. because I wasn't expecting you to get that super big bonus. Mm. So you can uh, you can take advantage of this yep. situation. So they're going to activate and go for the change formation. Yeah. Okay. So now change formation. formation. Your first action yep. allows you to put the first two groups in a column. Just click into line. You don't have to roll the dice for that. Perfect. So that's that you're, you're well trained troops, you know how to do your drill, mm -hmm. and if you like, you can use your second action to fire. However, that would be uncontrolled fire. I'm just going to tell them to present. So we're going to put a little present marker on there. What these guys are doing is very, very wise because they're well trained. These are the troops that Frederick the Great conquered large slices of Europe with, rather than just blazing away. Mm -hmm. The like, other thing uh, is, it means that it's a controlled volley yeah. on my first shot, which they do get a bonus for. You do. You will get a bonus for that. But mm -hmm. it really means these guys are going to be operating it. They're Deep doing what they're good at, which, yep. is, which is what the, uh, the game's all about. So we take those four cards, mm -hmm. we put them back in the deck. Yeah. So I've kind of stolen the march on you. you <laughs> that and I've got a screen up in front of my cavalry. Yeah, so absolutely. Nice position to be in. Six. Six is Freiherr Augustin von Kraken. Is, is it time to unleash the Kraken? Oh, the Kraken? Yeah, yeah. let's get them moving at least a little bit. 2d6? Uh, well, you've got some choices there. You can, you can walk at mm -hmm. 2d6, right. or you can start speeding up and going a bit faster. Um, you probably don't want to charge through the back of your own infantry because you can't interpenetrate. Oh, you can't troops. move through no, other troops? you can't move. Not cavalry going through infantry, mm. no. Um, what I think I'll do is I'll just mm. move them a little bit so mm. that I can line them up nicely yeah, behind. Yeah, Okay. Just so roll a couple of dice and move yeah. them to where you want to get to as long as you... Okay. Four inches, yeah. You can that's, only go four inches, but that's, that's fine. That's more than enough to do. Yeah. Just a little shimmy to here. And the next card out is green. It's the tiffin. tiffin. Lovely. There's no flags out because we've all kind of used our flags. You more effectively than me. I got lucky with that. Yeah, well, and I'm in disarray over here because the yeah. colonel's knocked off his horse. Yeah. So uh, we'll have a big shuffle in the bag. Mm -hmm. One of the nice things about uh, poker chips is if you are not sort of Las Vegas style card sharp, yeah. you can just have a rummage through the bag. It yeah. shuffles itself and actually it kind of shuffles itself every time you pull a card out. Yeah. So it's really good for randomization. Oh, that's oh, gonna hurt. oh it's Mossack von Secker. Blue one. Oh. Rattles at the ready. Blue on. So we've wow. got the man. Muskets at the ready, I'm afraid. Yeah. Oh, muskets <laughs> yeah. at the ready. Well, so, still, he's going to be firing. Yeah. So it's outside of 12. Outside of 12. And he's going to target here. But yeah, a great opportunity to catch me in column. Yeah. So, uh, eight guys apiece. Yep. And then my commanders. So for those, I have a, a status one and a status three. So one, two, three. Okay, four, four, fine. Six, seven, well, you, uh, you only. Uh, add the dice for the commander who's actually firing. 
actually controlling the troops to fire. Fair enough, so it's two eights and an eleven. Yeah, okay, fine. Now, what range have we got there? Uh, it's over 12, under 24. Over 12, right. So, that, with muskets, 24 inches is long range, 12 inches is short range, mm. uh, and we know that we're going to be uh, hitting on sixes at long range. Mm. However, you get some bonuses there, don't you? It's yep. your first time you're firing, so, comes so five. that's going to be, become five, and it's also uh, a controlled volley. Mm -hmm. Uh, which means you're going to be getting hitting on four. Yep. And uh, I'm just having a look here to see if we get a bonus as well because I'm in column, which um, is going to give you another plus one. Oh, lovely. So threes. So hitting on threes, yeah. Lovely. So first hit. That'll be three. Yep. I was rather, really rather hoping that I wasn't, you weren't going to get a benefit of being in column, but I had a look in the rules. And sure enough, you do. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six there. So that's nine. And the last one gets three extra dice. Yeah. Uh, there'll be one, two, three, four, five more. 14, 14 hits. That's seven hits on each group. This should hurt. It's a pretty punchy first start, but isn't it? You are behind your barricade, so that's heavy cover, yeah? Uh, it's not actually, it's a rubbish barricade. Oh, right. It's just one we've chucked in the street. You know, granny's old table and, you know, auntie's curtains. So um, fours and fives so and sixes. Fours and fives are shot, six is a kill. Dead well, man. the first group, uh, I need to roll another dice there. First group, one dead and one point of shock. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, is it the commander? It isn't because you guys are just line troops. If it was ah, skirmishers yes. firing at them, so but I can't to roll under one. Yeah. So it's not. There's no risk to our leader there. Okay. And Next the one? second group. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh a bit worse. Lucky you didn't get that roll. Yeah. Two. Yeah. And, and a shock. shock. Now I can roll under two. If I roll a one, we've got our. Whoops. We've got our sergeant there, who might be in a bit of trouble. But oh, no, it's, it's not. As it is. Two dead and a point of shot. That's, That's a pretty stops. good first punch on the nose for me. Yeah, and they lose. They this. lose their present. They fired, but they have reloaded. Yes. So they're just working through that cycle of firing. Yes. Blue flag. Blue flag. I'll take Followed that. Followed by yeah. What we want is three flags and you to run short of ammunition. But <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, Goring. Yeah. Farm and target Goring. Nothing doing to well, do. Well, lads, give it up. He's doing well. Right, red flag. Next one out. So I, I can't do anything with one red flag at the moment, but I've got red four. My leader, red four. Now that is Vladislaus von Frankenstein. Ah. Now, Frankenstein is a level two leader. So he can take one point of shock off. Mm -hmm. What he is going to do is pick up that flag and take the second point of shock off for that, which leads him with one command initiative, mm -hmm. with which he's going to roll one dice. Okay. Because he wants to just move up to the barricade. <laughs> I see. Right, so he moves up to the barricade. Yeah. And the group behind is going to take their action and just snap into line alongside them. Yeah, so we assume they're just all lined up. We assume they're, yeah, that's right. And we'll, we'll put them in there. The, the movement, uh, movement bases that we use are really just to allow, you know, Ease of movement. Ease of movement around the battlefield. Mm. But sometimes when you get terrain, you've just got to put them in and kind of accept the fact that, yes, they're forming a line as they're trained to do so. Mm -hmm. And whilst it might look a bit wobbly, ho-hum. Right, so at least my guys have lined up. Well, at least your guys are now up at the barricade and ready to shoot. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased they're there. I think they're going to hold that position because they're in good, good thing is they're in cover and you're not, even though you, there's more of you, but mm. we'll see. Yeah, the one thing I will say is that we're ignoring the dice tower. It's just there for us to roll into, so this does <laughs> not block line of sight. <laughs> it's not uh, Central European architecture at its worst. No. M modernist. No. Right, okay. Red flag. Now, that's a good one for me because I could activate a unit or formation that's not yet been activated. Nope. Because you used one of the red flags. Oh, did I? Yes, to get the plus one to get a, uh, a oh, shock I did, off. I did. You're right. Sorry, that's in the discard pile. Right, okay. Ah, well, all, all my gotta, attempts gotta at cheating have <laughs> failed. Right. Red seven. Red seven. Bebo Bavich. Bebo Bavich. Well, this is a kind of complete pile of messiness here. Mm. And I... Uh, 
the problem is you've got good guys in cover the chances yeah. of me oh i don't know the chances you're gonna have of to me, work it hard to get these guys out of here i've got to get them out of there and do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do something stupid I'm oh god jump over the hedge and attack you for three inches uh, unfortunately not actually because i'm crossing a hedge i take off the lower dice so they go two inches so i say charge and they go well they, they stumble through the not really the, the they stumble was, through the brambles the hedge was clearly more spiky and brambly than i realized so that was another phenomenal piece of generalship <laughs> right <laughs> right okay so i like the way the narrative develops with things like that people saying yeah. charge and then you roll a blooming two right okay Red five, big red five is Ormeister Igor Horvat. Where is he? Uh, Igor, Igor is uh, is von Frankenstein's right hand man. Obviously, uh. yeah, every every Frankenstein has an Igor, yeah. uh, but there's no shock on that unit, so he's got nothing to do. Could he command the unit to shoot though? Yeah, he couldn't because um, he's not in charge. He's not in charge. Ah. The officer is in charge, and if he starts issuing orders while the uh, the, the officer's there, the officer might get a bit upset yeah. blue flags oh, two so blue you got flags two of them no. two blue flags big red six mm -hmm. is Michek Kovac Michek Kovac is the one maneuvering around yeah. there now he two two actions but because he's skirmish troops he always gets a bonus movement and we're going to use that to move 10 inches because we need to come up there and get in this firing line mm -hmm. and start making a difference you've got plenty to do it plenty right great well, if I use my telescopic arms, <laughs> we can get them over there. Yeah. Right, great. So I'm pleased about that. At, l at last, we're, we're getting some kind of firing line together to drive you off. Right, blue four is Josip Pavlek. Josip Pavlek is the second in command of the Croats. He's still trying to wake his officer up. Clearly, yeah. he was on the schnapps last night. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> It is time for the four. Come on! <laughs> but he's not coming. Right, red flag. Two red flags Ooh. out now. Ooh, yeah, now I could activate a unit that hasn't yet been activated. I could activate this this formation here. Yes. Um, but equally, I can still do that at the end of the turn. Yes. Because I've got two flags, so there's no big rush because mm. Bilo Babich is in the way, working his magic. Right. Red three. Thomas Glink is the third in command here he's going to take the shock off that unit okay because he's a level one leader so he's trying to get them reorganized while his officers rolling about in the dirt mm. followed by red Lieutenant rudolphus who's got nothing to do now <laughs> he can't take over command because uh, he's trying to help his leader up yeah blue three blue three at last is frederick fodor the Lieutenant, the commander of the croats <sighs> Fine, fine, we will go to war. <laughs> so he will be deploying from, now I think I can do this. Yeah. So because my skirmishers went through this mm. deployment zone out here, yeah. they can come through it Yeah, now? they can come through that one now because right. basically the, the troops who are kind of the good um, backwoodsmen, if you like, they can open up and unlock the, the secondary path to the battlefield because they know the, the highways and byways. So those guys are just coming out of there. Right. I'm going to have the sheep run away again. Just to give me room to work. This is becoming habitual. <laughs> right. And then it's six your inches reputation. Are yeah. to there. Okay, great. We right. will be seen. So the battle lines are forming. Right. Three blue flags out now. Okay. Followed by three red flags. Oh. One more flag and it's an event. One more flag and it's an event. Ah, but it's but tiffin. it's a tiffin. And I've got three blue flags to work You've with. You've got three blue flags. I've got three blue flags. Mm. Now, how do we determine who goes first? Well, uh, when we've got this situation, if you had three flags and I had two, you'd go first, I'd go second, you'd go third, blah, blah, blah. Right, if we have equal, whoever gets the high, whoever's got the highest force morale goes first. Um, we've both got the same. Yeah. So we roll the dice. Okay. There's my one. Uh, the six. Six, six. So we roll again. <laughs> A two. Uh -huh. you, sir. A three. Uh, so, the only guys who haven't activated, because this lunatic is rolling about in the dirt, are these guys here. Yeah, so the guys uh, right down the back there. So, they're actually going to... Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. They're actually going to move with 1d6. Okay. The, the lead unit is going to move with 1d6. So, he can go four. 
Ah. And as we know, with the second action, these guys can click into line. For free. Yeah. For free. So the second and third unit could do that. If there was a fourth unit in column, he would have to roll for movement. Right. Uh, because that's going through a formation change. So there, there we are. So whilst the uh, colonel's rolling in the dirt, we've mm. got those guys in line. So it Everybody took else on my side has, has activated already. So. Uh, uh, well, what I have left to activate mm. is actually just my skirmishers, I believe. Yep. Or did they activate this turn? Well, let's have a look. Kellerman the Salomon is blue six, so we can always check through these at the end of a turn to see if somebody's activated, and they haven't. So, right, so they will finish reloading, fire, and be fully unloaded. They will do that. So let's put and they them will be firing directly into this unit that has just stumbled through the hedge. I thought they might do. As the the, the main light bulk of the troops mm. have actually just forced them through the hedge for, yeah. because <laughs> they wanted to take the position. Yeah, so if they want to retreat, we're in a bit of trouble. So roll me um, seven dice. Uh, uh, no, is it just the unit that activates at this point, or the commander? Oh uh, no, it's not the commander, you're right, so it's six dice, so it's yep. just the six men. Six, mm -hmm. uncontrolled. Uncontrolled, well, it's all uncontrolled with the skirmish troops, mm. so just six dice, but you get a bonus because you're light infantry, so you hit on threes, threes. fours, fives and sixes. Um, four, one, be... two, four yeah. hits. So we'll put a second puff of smoke in front of them to show that you need two actions to reload next time. Yep. I'll roll my four hits on these guys here. Now we're going to spread that one, two, three, four, because all these guys yeah, yeah. are in your... Uh, in the line of fire, yeah. The, the balls just fly on through. Yeah. First one is Wayne. on those guys. They are in the open, so that counts Well, light cover? Yeah. Or no, they act as if they're in light cover. They act in light cover, so, so they still take a shot for that. Yeah. So these guys here count as in light cover. They take a shock. And a dead, and a shock. So, is the dead man one of the commanders? Is the dead man one of the commanders? It is not. It's not. Thank goodness for that. Yep. Right, okay. So, uh, that's the turn. That's the turn. Now, what we want to do at the end of this turn is I've gotten these guys here with my Rindewaffe. Okay. So, the problem is. They've discovered that the manual is in Mandarin Chinese. So, oh. they're attempting to read through it. And they've got what we call a task roll target to achieve. Okay. So every time they try and do it, we take that number, is a three, mm -hmm. and they've got to get to 36 in order to translate the Mandarin Chinese into Middle or Open, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever language they speak. Okay. Right. So they're not doing very well at the moment. I think they've just got, uh, got the. They've looked at it and went, well, is this uh, toilet, put, toilet paper? That one must say introduction. <laughs> right. And that's where we come to. So we have a shuffle. Now what I'll do is I will make a note of that on a dice off table so we know that we've got three points. Okay. So I assume one is for tens, one is for... One is for tens, one is for units. Yeah. That's right. Got it. Okay. Well, here we go. Right. Oh, would you believe it? Red it's seven. Bebo Babich. He's standing right out in the front there going, he is. oh dear, we don't like this. He, he's doing exactly that. Um, and what he's going to do is get the hell out of there. <laughs> now, here's a question. Yeah. Could his unit occupy this building? Uh, they could. They could uh, to cross that wall, because it's a high wall. They you could see there's, stand a, next there's to a door it. right here? Oh, I like people who tell me there are doors right there. Right, we, <laughs> right there. we're going to make a move for the door. Right. Okay. Right. So, so, that's plenty. That's plenty. Right, so we're going to take them off. They run into the house. And what we'll do is we'll just put them in the put backyard. The courtyard, yeah. To show that they're, they're in there. Yeah. And... How many windows have we got on that side of that house? We've got uh, loads of windows. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four. So I can actually fire two men from each window. Okay. Uh, and I assume they can split themselves over the levels? They can split themselves over. It takes a bit of time. It takes them another turn to go upstairs. All right. Well, you've but, got two on the ground floor and the front door. Yeah. And so I right, can have the front door open and shoot out the front door? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Does the front door count as a window for shooting? Uh, no, it counts as a door. Right. Because <laughs> you can, <laughs> two men can shoot out of a window or a door. Okay. So... Uh, so that'll good. give you six guys fit to shoot. That will give me six guys fit to shoot, which is great because that's what I've got. Mm. Right, okay, so let's see what's next. It's blue a blue flag. flag. It's a blue flag, and that's followed by a red flag. Ooh, oh, one more flag. Uh, red six. Oof. Red six. Mitchek Kovac. Now, Mitchek Kovac is over there. Yeah, Mr. Kovac is here. Firing through the invisible dice tower <laughs> at these guys here. Now, that is at long range, mm -hmm. so it's sixes. However, Mitchek is and his guys are skirmish grenzers, so they're light troops, so that makes it, uh, um, <clears throat> that will make it sixes to hit goes down to five to hit. 
and this is the first time they fired and they get a plus one for that so that'll be fours to hit and you've got six dice for the blokes and one for Michik. so we roll seven dice and see what we get Okay, Ooh. one, two, four. three, Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. five. Ow. That's quite nice. Right, and we, because you're in the open, we decide where we're going to put the odd hits. So yes. we're going to have one on that unit, two on them, two on them. Okay, so from here, yep. for the one. Yep. Is it man dead? For the next, it's yep. two. It is two points of shock. That's fine. And then for the last... Two men dead. Men dead. Oh. Ro oh my lord, this is Mossack von Secker's group. Yeah. Roll me a dice for young Mossack. What do I not want? You don't want a one or a two. Well, I want a one or a two. A five. Oh. I saw that thinking about going on to the one there. but Yeah. Okay, so two men dead. Oh, and one there. there, right. So I'm quite pleased with that as a kind of first shot. Yeah, yeah. That's um, kind of tipping the, would be. tipping the scales back into balance. The world is coming back into order. Yeah. Right. Blue, Blue two. 2 is Falantaga Sigvald Goring. Sigvald is a level 2 leader because he's a young officer aspirant. So, um, are you sure? I'm seeing status 1 here. Oh, yeah, well, that's a complete lie. He's a level 2. He's a gentleman. Very well. Uh, in that case, what he will be doing is quite simple. You lot, behave yourselves. Yeah, so take one shock of each group, which is the optimum way for maximising your firepower. Yes, yeah. two shock on a group is a dice off for firing. Exactly. So, so by taking one off each, you've got rid of that effect. So red flag. So red flag. So you could have actually taken another one off, but probably not worth it yet. Well, uh, because uh, you've got a flag out yeah, of the yeah. flag. Red four. Red four. Red four is Vadislaus von Frankenstein. Well, that is Laos von Frankenstein. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the force roster here because the thing about these troops is that they've all got certain skills and abilities. Sometimes you can use flags to allow them to fire things like the crashing volley, which doubles mm. shock. So we're going to look at these Grenzer guys. They get a first fire bonus, which is what it's going to be. Mm. They can fire a control volley, but only the first time they fire. I see. Leutnant Ladislaus von Frankenstein, who is here is going to fire his guys now right we've got a control volley for the first time uh that's the only time they can fire that yeah so the shots that have came in so far <coughs> have started from here yeah and now it's here yeah. with that full line of guys yeah you are over the 12. i'm over the 12 so long range so hit on sixes mm -hmm. control volley fives yep. first time fired four mm. so we've got seven guys in this group here mm -hmm. so let's get those seven dice and roll that and see what we can do here Oh, not great. Just two. Uh, I'll mark that. Yeah. And then we've got six guys in the next group, but von Frankenstein is a level two. So that ah. we add him in. Brings that up to eight. And that's another one, two, three, four. So six total. Six in total. So nice and easy. Two, two, and two. Yeah, just two all the way across. Yeah. So I will start from this side. Yeah. So first two. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh -huh, nothing. Now the important ones. Mm -hmm. So for my sub commander, point of shock. Point of shock. <coughs> and for the big guy, no point, point of, shock. of shock. Yeah. Oof. So that was shocking. Shocking indeed. That was indeed right. Okay, blue three. Mm -hmm. Now that is Frederick Fodor and his Croats. Yeah. <coughs> mm. I think they're just going to move a bit. He's kind of boxed in a bit there, isn't he? Yeah, a little bit. I nearly would have been mm. better putting him in column. So what I'll do is I'll just have him move to right. very quickly. He's got seven inches that he can go. Yeah. But what he'll do is mm -mm. he's just going to bring his men up, up to the wall. To the wall. That way, if you try and come into the orchard grove, they'll be fit to fire at you. Okay. So we pulled a tiff in. Oh. Oh, you've got two. Uh, I've got two flags. You've got one. Mm -hmm. So. So who's not activated? Who's almost everybody's not activated. Right. Annoyingly, this guy's still rolling in the dirt. <laughs> but I'm going to activate this fo this formation first. Ah, but did they activate this turn? I think they did. They uh, actually get into place. No, because they activated at the end of last turn. Ah, I see. So on the tipping. I car. assume he's uh, getting himself up then. No, he's not. No. It's, so it's just a unit firing without his benefit. Ah. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire at you guys because we really want to clear you out of that orchard. Now that'll be uncontrolled, won't it? It will be uncontrolled. It's the only option I've got. Mm -hmm. It's not good, but there you go. Nevertheless, it's close range. It's first fire. Mm -hmm. We're at close range, we're hitting on threes, uh, on fours. 
but because the first fire we're hitting on threes. Yeah, so it would have been twos if it had been controlled. Yeah, Oof. would have been nasty. Yeah. Right, however, a good thing for you is your skirmish troops in light cover, which becomes hard cover. Yeah. So. But I still think we're going to hurt you. Right, for the first group firing, we've got four. one, two, three, four. And then we don't get any leader benefit with this because we're firing at the end of the turn for the next group firing. Could you pop that one in there, yeah. one, please? Right, another two. Six. Yep. And. Oh. I need longer arms. One more. Right, oh. see, that's better. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hits. Yeah. Ten hits on these guys, and it's all on the all on those Feldjäger in their uh, in their little orchard. <clears throat> yeah, there's no one near enough to no, actually take no, the extra. Right, no. Isn't it within four inches? Yep. Yeah, no one near enough. No, no one near so. enough. Yeah. So well, that's not bad. That's pretty pretty safe, really. It's shock. That, it's that heavy cover that's saving you. So just a couple of points of shock there. Yeah, that was okay. That was a few moments. Lucky. That's, Ten dice. I was hoping to at least knock a couple of guys over dead, mm. but uh, there you go. Right, so your flag. So yep. you, the only guys you activated in that turn were actually the secondary commander and him. So your main force can fire. They are already firing a control volley, so they can carry on doing that. Uh, but they haven't presented. Uh, so they, they would have to that. present and fire now. That's fine. They've got two actions, so they'll present and fire, and then that will leave them unloaded, which will mark with puff of smoke. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So seven. <coughs> Yes, yeah, seven for the first group, seven, seven for the second six. group, and five for that group. Oh, yeah, so it's seven, mm. seven, five. Yeah. Uh, so just for everybody at home, <coughs> two points of shot, two points, two of, points shot, of shot, two points so, of shot. Yeah, yeah, let's see how this goes. Right. Seven. Yeah. Ooh. Also targeting the same target. Yeah, course. you are, that's right. So and that's you can target them because these guys are in hard cover, so yeah. you can focus your fire. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. Mm hmm. I think it's fives I'm after, yeah? Uh, you are after fives and sixes because you're firing control volleys. Yep, that's right. So that's five land. Yeah. Uh, then it's seven again. Yeah. Uh, two more to that. Mm -hmm. So what's that in total? Seven. Seven, yeah. And then five dice. Mm. Yep. <coughs> For Ooh. another two is nine. Nine, nine hits. Ooh, nasty. Nine okay. into light cover. So I'm in cover, so I'm going to put five hits on these guys. All oh, right and four on these guys. Okay. And these guys are within four, but they're outside their arc of fire, which is straight ahead. Oh, that was handy. <laughs> <laughs> so one dead and one shock yep. on those guys. I can't roll under one, so I yep. don't roll for my leader there. Mm -hmm. And we'll just roll four for von Frankenstein's guys here. And nothing on them. We're oh. saved by the barricade. Yeah. Right. Worth doing though. Yeah, absolutely. Right, okay, so, and the next, the, finally it's me, yes. again, to see who gets to fire. Now, we fired, um, we've had six and seven out for me, which are both my Grenzer skirmishers. And four. These guys fired, yeah, four. So I fired these already, so I've kind of, that's everybody done, isn't it? I'm mm. all done, There's, I've got nothing left to do, so. I'm not gonna complain about this. No, absolutely, so we'll put them back in the bag. Mm -hmm. We'll have a quick shuffle. And we'll see where we're going to go next. Right, first one out is Blue Four. Blue Four. Oof. Is Blue Four is Josip Pavlik and his Croats. So it's the Croats. Hmm. Now, could I have them just advance on into the orchard here? You can. Crossing the hedge will break the formation, and moving through an orchard will break the formation. But hey, why not get them up here and reform at the front of the orchard? It's kind of what I'm thinking. Mm -mm. But on the other hand, they can't fire from here. Nope. Um. What do I want to do? If you get to within six inches of the edge of the orchard, they can see out. Mm, but they're out of formation. But they're out of formation. But you can reform formation when you're in the orchard. It's just moving will break the formation. All right, let's let's try and move as quickly as I can. Okay, so you want to roll two dice, and you take the lower one off because you're you're climbing a, a head a okay. fence. At two inches, so, so they just pop you're kind the of top. doing the same as I was doing. So they yeah, they so. popped over the. Popped over the fence, yeah. got into the orchard, but they're not really making a lot of headway this in this fight. Yeah, that was a, a quite hefty hedge, quite yeah, substantial hedge. Quite substantial. <laughs> so or next fence. one out, sorry, fence. Next one out is blue three, which yeah. is uh, fedora. Fedora, yeah. So that's uh, 
That's the NCO, so there's nothing there to do there. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, and the next one out is red, it's a red flag. Yep. Followed by blue five. Blue five is Jägermeister Kellerman. Yes. So uh, his guys are going to finish reloading? Yeah. Or they're going to fully reload? That's, that's a whole turn to but reload. But they are going to take their free movement. The, yeah, which way are they going? Oh, they're going to hop over the hedge towards me. Okay, right. So what I'm thinking is, from where they are here, yeah. they're going to jump into this hedge. Okay, fine. Away you go. I, so. think, I think that might work. So. Well, the thing is, what, you, what you've got to do is you need two dice if you're crossing a hedge. So that okay. will mean you'd only be partially reloaded. Okay. But... Uh, so, so, yeah, you take the lower one off. And get six. So, you so, get six. Yeah. And we'll just put that in front to show that you're kind of... The guys have rushed over there and then haven't quite finished reloading. Yeah. But I, I have yeah. to do that just to sort of leave me a little clear. Yeah. Also, there's one Absolutely. more guy in there. Is that? Okay. <laughs> and we'll take a shot with you. Yeah. Why do battlefields always have trees on them? Right. Okay. Mm. So, yeah. away we go. Now, we've got a blue flag. I'll take that. Put a blue flag there. Yeah. We've got a red flag. Oh, another flag. flag will be a random movement. Oh, it is, it is. a random event on movement. And roll that's me. that's for Kellerman's men. Let's see what the effect of that is. You roll so. me a couple of these six, please. Yeah. It is seven. Seven. Okay. If those troops were in column, they'd take another 2d6 movement immediately, but they're not. Oh. So it's kind of a big... If, you were, if you'd been storming down the road with Von Secker and got that, that could have really mm -hmm. pushed you forward. However, okay. no effect this time. I can take, I've got three flags now, so I could activate a leader who's not yet been activated. Yeah. Now, I, I'm kind of thinking about doing that just to get this guy up off his blooming... Yeah, the guy who's on his Fallen back. off his horse. So I, is he just lying there with the horse, like, pinning his leg, saying, Lads, look, just, just keep going, just keep going, it'll be fine, just keep going. But he's not even saying that, because they won't go, they're only going on... So he's, I'm going to use those three flags to get him up, because okay. it's crazy him lying down and that's it and the problem is that's the only thing he can do is dust yeah. himself down and you have your next jet is six, six red six yeah red six is that is Michek Kovac mm -hmm. Michek Kovac's over there with yeah he's so here again he's gonna fire again he's got six guys mm -hmm. but he's a leader one so he adds seven and I assume it's still into these it's still into those guys yeah definitely right okay Ooh. so we are hitting on fives and sixes there. That'll be three. That'll be three hits, one, one, and one mm -hmm. on the formation. Okay. okay. Yeah. So the not important one <coughs> is fine. It's fine. The sort of important one is shock. Is shock. And the really important mm -hmm. one is shock. Is shock. Cool. Okay. Have to do well, about the shock. Shock's building up, and that's yeah. what we want. That's the way we're going to beat you. Okay. Another red flag. Ah, if you'd mm -hmm. held on to it, that could have been the bonus. Could have been the Brucey, but. I had to get him up. It was a crazy yeah. situation. So, so two. blue two, blue I two. I could work with that. Sigvald Goring. Point. Point. Taking Point. his shock off. Yeah, absolutely. Manage it. Manage, management. That's what it's all about. Another red flag. So we've got two red flags. All right, you get five red flags. Oh well, we have in this game because we kind of adjusted the the number of flags that are in the that are in the game because we've right. got quite a lot of leaders. So we popped an extra one in. Okay. Just to kind of. Um, Let's add a bit of sparkle. All right, uh, blue one. Yeah, blue one. Now, what a shame that you don't actually have the second flag because that could have been your crashing volley. But you've still got to reload and present. Mm. But he can also take some shock off. Well, he's a, a level three, so yeah. if he gives that to make him a four, yeah, I can drop all do. but one. Yeah. So I'll drop that, <coughs> drop those in yeah. the unit that he's in because I don't want it retreating. Yeah. And then reload, reload present, f or f and present. Yeah, reload and present. Can't fire yet. Not yet. But if you get two blue flags on a you could utilize your sharp practice and fire on that. Ah. But let's see. Red five. Now red, red five. five is Igor Horvat, who is the NCO in these guys. Mm -hmm. So he's just gonna take off some of the shock that's there. Yeah. That's good what thinking. these second in command are there for. Keep mm -hmm. the troops in line. Oh, so those three flags that I used, I pulled red one there. Yeah. I didn't need to do that, but mm -hmm. I didn't know it was going to happen, and I really felt I had to get him back on his horse. That's the risk you take. I can't activate him again. You can't. Yeah. Oh, sickening. Blue flag. Blue flag. That could have turned things there if I'd hung on, but... Mm -hmm. Two, uh, red two. Now, that's uh, Lieutenant Rudolphus. He's with the second in command. He's going to take the two points of shock off that they have. Yep. So a bit of housekeeping there again. Yep. Blue, Blue flag. flag. Now, Ooh. 
there's your opportunity to take the national characteristic that is called sharp practice. This is for troops who got really good musketry drill. Yep. I don't have it, unfortunately. I'm more march up and punch you in the face type aggressive guy. You're more well-trained, disciplined mm. firepower. Here's my problem. Mm. In here, these guys are mm. in the firing line. Yeah, it doesn't. It, what that means is you can hit anybody within that arc of fire. You can't hit anybody outside it. However, these guys can angle their fire. Ah, so there. I can angle yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah, into them. Fine. Yeah, I will sharp practice. Yeah, you would. I will sharp practice. Right. Okay. So bang. So this is. We take your present off, and we put your. We'll put your fired on in a yeah. second. But let's roll the dice. You got seven dice here. Seven. Eight, and you're hitting and six. on fives and sixes because it's controlled fire. Yep. Uh, that'll be three. That'll be three, All right? So I'll mark that. And the next one is eight dice. I've got yes. three here, yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's seven dice, one more. Mm. Ooh, that'll another three. three more. Six. Got to keep the heel of fire going, and yeah. then it's only six shots. Yeah, only six at the end because we've killed a couple. Uh, is just the another one. one. So that's seven hits. So I'm going to put four on the guys over there with the sergeant, mm -hmm. and that's one dead, mm. and <clears throat> they're in light cover there, so that's one point of shock. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be on the sergeant, but you're whittling those guys away, mm -hmm. and we'll take three hits on von Frankenstein's boys. Uh, shock. And that's just a point of shock there. I'll right. take it. I'll take it. Okay. We're getting a very long turn here. Are you sure you put the tiffin back in? No, oh, I'm certain. I'm certain. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay, so these guys are fired. Yeah. What's next? All fired. Right, blue, blue flag. flag <coughs> which is not really of, worth anything. Not going to do it, but so. Ooh, another blue flag. Ooh. So you could actually sharp practice and reload there. I will sharp practice and yeah. reload. Why not? That's all part of your drill. So you guys are, you guys are really getting that three rounds a minute thing mm -hmm. going. Right, blue six. Blue six. Who is that? Uh, that is Von Kraken. Von Kraken. Who's at the back? Who probably uh, hasn't got a lot to do. Go moment. on, lads. You're doing fine. Yeah, absolutely. Red seven. Bilo Babic. At last, Bilo. Right, he's a level one leader. He's yeah, going to shoot he's now out the window. Here. Yeah, he's going to shoot out the window there. You got. Well, there's the thing. Do you want to move them into the two floors now? And then no, shoot? I'm happy to have them downstairs. Okay, so I'm six happy. shots. Yeah, I just want to get the maximum shot. Six, but. He isn't actually firing out, but he is still controlling their fire. He's directing it. So we get, ah, still get seven dice. I see. Right. Oh. And we're hitting on uh, fours, fives, and sixes. So oh, that's three, three hits on Kellerman's boys. Oof. So it'll be, again, one, one, and one, starting from here. Oh, no. It's on these guys here. Oh, those? Yeah, okay. So yeah. it's just straight up three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Heavy cover? Uh, yeah. Because your light troops in heavy cover. Ooh, someone still dies. kills one. Roll the dice. See if it's anyone important. No. No. Right. No, it's just uh, Rifleman A. Rifleman A, indeed. Tiffin. There you go. Told you it was in there. Okay. Right. Interesting. But yeah, it's kind of only one card left in the only card, one card left in the bag, and that was von Frankenstein. Mm. So I will use this card to get them to fire. Ah, uh, of course. I'll assume same target. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Now we got less men this time, unfortunately. Yeah. So we got seven guys. But obviously we don't add in von Frankenstein this time. Mm. So that's seven dice with these guys here. And we're hitting on. It's not a control volley, so we've missed. Oof. And that's bad, that's bad. And four, needing a six from over there. One. Just one hit. We'll put it on von Secker's, well, it doesn't matter. We'll actually, yeah, we'll put it on this group here because we kind of want them to sort of yeah, run so away. And, yeah, yeah, I kind of guessed. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a six. Ooh, Somebody's it's a dead. dead, but it's not von Sacker because you can't roll under one. Yeah. Okay, but we're starting to sort of chip away at the line a bit there. Yeah. Have a shuffle. Mhm. Mm I love the sound they make in the bag. <laughs> well, I'll do it all day if you like. We we'll just stand here and film this. <laughs> okay. Right. Red, red four. four. Red four is Vadislaus von Frankenstein. Well, he fired and reloaded because we're all uncontrolled, as mm -hmm. we know. So he's going to fire again, and uh, this time. He's going to add his dice to it. So that first group will be nine. Oof. And so a couple of hits. And the next group will be one, two, three, four. Ooh, there, there, there. Feeling the pain over there. Yeah. Uh, just two. So we're going to put it here and here. Yeah, so these two? Yeah, yeah okay. please. 
So the less important of the two. Yeah. It's fine. It's shock. Uh, just a point of shock. Yep. The other one uh, is fine. It's does not, does, not, not, does not, not give a dicky bird. No, don't care. That's a shame. I kind of kind of hoping to bully that little that little group into blue flag. Trouble. Blue flag, yeah. Followed by a blue flag. So you could activate, you can interrupt. No point in interrupting now until I pull the next card, unless mm. it's Tiffin, which would be kind of unlucky. Mm. Blue two. two. Perfect. Now, that's Sigval Goring. Yep, He's so level two. Here. He could take oh, that oh. off. That's fine. That's all he needs. So keeping the unit in operation. Yes. Followed by another flag. Oh, three blue flags. Three. So you could activate a leader now if you wanted. But I think you're better off holding on. Well, it's up to you. You what could. Did you, you could. I took blue three. Oh. So you could now say I'm interrupting. Mm. So my, it's up to you. But See, what I'm thinking is, mm. I'll interrupt mm. with uh, these boys, yeah. have them move it up, yeah. and maybe fire. Yeah, you could move up with one dice and then fire. I think I will. Let's yeah. see what happens. Six. Six. More than enough. More than enough. More so than they're up enough. the front. So they've got, I reckon that takes them pretty much up to the edge, don't you? Yeah. Now, do they have yeah. to reform when they're at the edge? Uh, if you want to reform, it's uh, it will take you one of his command points. It doesn't take any actions because they're so close together. I'll take a command point to do that then. You actually have to roll for them separately because they're not in formation. Sorry. Ah, so that's the first fine. one rolls six. Second, well, one, second one, five. one rolls five. Now they're close enough to just form up if he's yeah, got the command snap. initiative yep. without using an action. As that's long as fine. you're within like an inch or two. Yep. Uh, you bring can the commanders in too. Yeah. So, one with each. Good drill, good drill from the green Croats. So yep. they've got an action left and they can fire. They will. Yeah, whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight and eight, but you're, add, you're adding in um, uh, Kovic, uh, for doors too as well, so eight and ten. Oh, and eight, you're, ten first. You, you can't, this has got to be an uncontrolled volley, of course. Yeah, but the Croats, yeah. First fire, yes. Yeah, they get a first fire, but uh, and it's short range, uncontrolled. It's short range. You're hitting on fours for short range and threes because it's first fire. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, that's, uh, three. you're getting the first punch in. Sometimes that's more important than uh, anything else. One, one, two, three, four, uh, and another one on Fifth. threes because yep. of the bonus. Uh -huh. So that's five, was it? Yep. Okay. Drop two dice. Yep. Ooh, one, two, three, mm. four, six, five, six, eleven. Eleven. Wow. Okay, so that's two groups take four and one group takes three. I'm in cover, so I choose. Mm -hmm. So the the group with this lunatic who's only just got off, from, got off back, back on his horse, horse. Yep. he's going to take three hits, although in some respects I might be better off killing him off. Someone okay, dies. Okay, one man dead. Yep. And the next group are going to take, the next two four groups are take four and four, yeah. So that's two points to shock. That's and fine. Final group, yeah, pile the shock on that. Makes it difficult for me to function with all that shock. Another dead? Another dead and a shock. Mm. So two shock, uh, one shock there and two shock there. Yeah. Okay, right. Nice. Ch chipping away. That was a good move on your part, a really good interrupt. I've, I've got three. Well, you've now got three, yeah? Yeah. So you can start dropping some of that shot. It's Frederick Fedor, who is my, uh, sorry, that's, uh, sorry, it's Thomas Glenk, the yeah. Felder Rebel. So he can take off one point of shot. Mm. So may get it a little bit. Doing his, doing the housekeeping, keeping the troops in order, rallying red them. Flag. Red flag. Oh. Followed by red two, who's our leader here, who's so, he's getting the guys in line. Yeah. He didn't have to use the flag to do that, which is good. Mossack Fonseca. Yes. Oh, and I hate to tell you this, but you can fire a crashing volley. Because you've nope. got... Oh, you used those, didn't I you? I used yeah. two. Thank goodness. No, no, I used two, so I have one. No, you interrupted with the oh, yeah, leader, leader, so that's three. <laughs> oh, I was getting... A, <laughs> a crashing volley there, doubling shot could have mm. really... Especially with that unit down to four men. But you can still present and fire. No. No. You're marching up. It's time to take the rest. You're going up into so close range. For yeah. one dice. One dice, yeah. Let's see <clears> what we get. Six. six. So the Flawless. whole formation goes up six. Yeah. Now I'll tell you a secret here, mm -hmm. and it's worth knowing. Um, 
kind of uh, if you kind of six across that way a bit, then that keeps you stops you shooting your Jaegers and keeps everybody firing. Yeah. When you're firing at long range, having the plus one mm -hmm. of a controlled volley means you double the number of hits because you hit on five and six rather than six. Mm -hmm. When you're in close range, it actually only adds a third because you're rather it, does it add a third? You're hit rather than hitting on four, five, and six. You're hitting on three, four, five, and six. Mm -hmm. So the benefit is not as huge. So when you actually get into close range, sometimes just going bang, 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 uncontrolled volleys mm. can really deliver a lot more firepower. Mm. But on the other hand, sometimes when you get in close range, delivering a control volley can just be so overwhelming that so it's kind of do it's a decision making thing. See, I'm either going to up my rate of fire for mm. not having to spend actions to mm. present. Mm. Yeah. Or I'm going to mm. keep on getting, getting the plus one. The plus one. At the minute, I think it's time to go uncontrolled. Smoke's flying everywhere. Yeah. And so they're just going to go uncontrolled. That is kind of what I've come to the conclusion is probably the best policy, but I could be proved wrong. But well, you see, it's mm. it's like you said, it's essentially mm. adding mm. half as many shots again because yeah. you're losing, yeah. keeping one extra action. Yeah. So everybody's right. shooting. Where to shoot though? Well, I think into this. Yeah, that's Let's right. Just keep hammering that center if I can break it down. Yeah. So the first one is going to be seven guys. Seven guys. We're hitting on four fives and sixes yep. here. Uh, that'll be three. Three hits. Yeah. The next one, eight guys. Full eight. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Um, one, two, three, four. four. Yep. So that's ten in total. And then Mossack von Secker, his group is only five men, but he adds his three to it because he's controlling the fire. Yep. So eight dice. One, two, three, another three. Yeah. Puts me on 11. Yeah. So six and five. So I'm going to have to put six on Frankenstein's group because these, these guys have lost so many men. Oh, my goodness. Two and That's two. two hits and three shots. So you'll need to roll so one. I need to, to roll for the leader to see That's if it's one. on Frankenstein. Let's roll that dice. It's a three. Ooh, You're fine. So two, two hits dead. and three shots. Yeah. That's still pretty painful. Yeah, I'm just going for the meat grinder. You certainly are. Right. And, and the then other one, uh, yeah. how many? It's five. Eleven, so the next one is five, yeah. And that's one dead, just one dead, yeah. But they're down to three men, those guys. You're really putting the pressure on at that point. Yeah, well, it means that mm. that shock is becoming a lot more painful when it's on there. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Right, okay. Red. Red five. five. Now, red five. Igor. Igor is going to take some shock off, but he's yeah. actually going to pick that flag up because we're near, I reckon we're near the, near the tipping we're near card. So he's going to take two points off those guys. That's fair enough. Yeah, next one out is... Red one. Red one. Ah, oh, at last. Oh, dear. At last. Mr. Fall off the horse arrives. He is going to present and okay. fire... A, oh, no, he's already firing uncontrolled. Yes. So can he, can he stop them? them? He can, he can try. order them to try and stop. Yeah. But we're already at close range. We are at close range. So do I want to try and stop? I probably don't, do I? That's but then you're in cover. Well, so uh, okay. No, we're going to go uncontrolled. Okay. <laughs> right. So five, six, seven. So the, the commanders have decided to let the men have at it. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, right. Fine. That was rubbish. So two. <laughs> two hits. Mind you, had I been controlled, it would still have been two hits on that roll. Mm. Two. One, two, two three, six, so five, five so hits. far, and then these guys at the end are only six of them, but the commander's rolling, so that mm -hmm. is adding his dice, so that takes it up to nine. Uh, uh, I don't want to right, okay, so that's another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> twelve hits. Ugh. So, twelve hits, some of that's going to spill over into these guys. Yeah, so uh, we're going to get to three, four, four, and four. Four, four, and four. Yeah. yeah. So, so start here. These yeah, Jaegers we'll count as here. hard cover. Yeah, so for the Jaegers, yeah. four to roll. Uh, One deck and nothing else. Yeah. Now, it's you're not get taking fire from light troops, so that won't yeah. hit a leader. Next, Next one up. along uh, is three, ooh, shock. three points of shock. Ugh. And the next one is a one dead. dead and a shock. Yeah. And a shock, even though I'm in light cover? You're in oh, light yeah, cover. Oh, yeah, four, five, six. Yeah, four, five. Ah. Yeah, shock. Right, okay. Wow. Well. Keep drawing. 
I, I'm uncontrolled, so I've loaded again, so I don't have to put smoke in front of me. Yeah. Yeah, take another one out, and that is seven. Bilo Babich firing from the uh, bakery. Yeah. <laughs> into here. Right. Uh, now I'm going to focus on these naughty boys All here because right. I really don't like that Kellerman. There's a big personal thing between Bilo Babich and Jurgen Kellerman. All right. Mm. What well, was there? Perhaps a, a bar fight one night? Uh, do you know? I just can't tell you the story. It's too terrible. Oh, not for the internet then. <laughs> no, 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 not even for that. Any sort of internet. No. <laughs> right. Okay. So we're rolling seven dice. Yeah. And we're hitting on three hits there. Three hits. No, they used to serve together. They used to serve together, but they, a lot of these guys in this mercenary Freikorps force are uh, deserters from these guys. Uh, so. No wonder they, mm. they lined up with the main line troops then. Absolutely. Because they're just going, ha, <laughs> we'll show you how tough we are. <laughs> All right, so three into there. Yeah. One Ooh, dead. One dead. And it could be. It could be. Let's see if he's taken out the Kellerman. No. Nope. No. Not today. That's disappointing. One of the things we've got in the campaign supplement is there's a campaign supplement for sharp practice called Dawns and Departures, where you just roll up your campaign. It takes about 10 minutes to get your whole map together in the Ooh, campaign. Lovely. Is that you can make good friends who can accompany you on subsequent campaigns, but you can make sworn enemies, and Ooh, those guys are lovely. sworn enemies and really sworn. Yeah. Right. Okay, red six oh. is Michek Kovac. The marksman, the marksman on the left. Fire. Michek, fire in the disco. Right. Ah, no, okay. here's a question. And yeah, he's in uh, short range. No. He's in short range. So, but no bonus, no bonus at short range for these guys. Mm. Oh, they have the rifles. But they no, they have muskets. Ah. But they they like to stand up at quite some range. But they still hit on fours, fives, and sixes. So that's two hits, and we can choose where we put them. So we yeah. can put one there and one there. Yeah. So less important. So we want to pick off. Fine. The, no. More important. Whoa, Absolutely nothing fine. at all. Terrible. We were trying to pick off your officers with our uh, <laughs> with our skirmishers, but failing miserably, as yeah. we tend to three. do with everything. Right, so blue three is Frederick Fodor. Reload! Mm, reload fire! and fire. Right, okay. So you've got eight guys here, but you take one off for three points of shot. Uh, yeah, I'm going to actually <clears throat> see. What level? He's two. He's a two. Now, if you want to want to be cheeky, cheeky, mm. and kind of get maximum dice, you take. Oh, no, there's no, no, there's no benefit. So just yeah. take it off. Yeah, that just one. pop yeah. one off. Yeah. Okay. So reload and fire, <coughs> and I'm so still living one. Seven so. dice and seven dice, and then you add his so yeah. eight dice and eight dice, if you like, or seven dice and nine dice, whatever takes. I'll your just fancy. do it in it because it's handy. It's, it's handy. So first hit. Hit on um, fours, fives, and sixes. Three hits. Three. Yeah. Okay, second set. <coughs> yeah. Four, five, six. and six. Okay, two, two, and two for me. Spreading the hits across the three groups there. Yep, just let me get the dice out of the way. I will do indeed. Two for there. Ah, Double one. Snake eyes. There. Nothing. Two for there. Nothing. Ah. And two for there. Shock. Shocking. Two points of shot. Mm -hmm. So, not quite so good. All uh, this, this road must be a complete swirling. Mm. Smoke, right, red flag, mm -hmm. followed by blue flag. A blue flag. Oh, I could have done with that there. Yeah. Uh, followed by blue, blue five. Flag. Blue five is uh, that is you Jürgen Kellerman. Jürgen. Kellerman the Sellerman. So, Mr. Kellerman, <coughs> if you wouldn't mind, finish that reload. Yeah, finish the reload. And then we will fire yeah. into here. Oh. Nasty. Right. Okay. I, I feel that 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 right or the left flank mm. is looking a little shaky. It is. Well, that's right. So let's pile it on then. So mm. you've got three guys plus Kellerman, uh -huh. who's he's level one. One. So that's four dice hitting on threes because you're at short range and you're really good light infantry. So you get the, you still get that bonus at short range. That'll be two. Two hits. I'm in cover, so I choose where to put it. So I'm going to put it with these two groups that have got the lesser guys. One All dies. dead. And nothing. So let's see if it's my Feldwebel. No. It's not. Hmm. Fortunately. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Absolutely. Get that pressure on. Right. Red, Red flag. flag again. Mm -hmm. Followed by... Blue. Blue six. Blue six is von Kraken, von who's Kraken. shouting encouragement from the back. <laughs> I'll have him advance. Okay. Try so. not to get within four, otherwise you're going to, you know... Get no, no, I want that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm sorry, but right now my cavalry are just going to be Mr. Wound. <laughs> okay. So two dice. Yeah. 
more than enough. Right. So the cavalrymen move up. Are just moving up. Right. Blue four is Josip Pavlek, who is the NCO here. Now he's got a flag, and what I will say is we're kind of near the end of the bag. So you might want to take that flag and I'm take, going to take it and take, turn it it into and take the that. shock up. Yep. Yeah, good decision, I think, at this point. Because I reckon it's probably a tiffin. all units have gone so far, almost. Uh, there's a few a few bits in the bag, but not a lot. Red, Red flag. flag. <laughs> Trees everywhere. Trees everywhere. Followed by Red a flag. red flag. Oh, I've got four red flags. Oh, God. Did you? Yeah. Oh, you didn't use them, did no. you? Oh, God, no. Well, aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to. bonus. I'm going to take a bonus activation, and it's going to got to be here, I reckon. Yeah. It's got to be here. Right. So, so we've we got. Rolling six. fire? Yeah, rolling fire across the front. Six with my first peloton. No, I'm glad I shot them. Yeah. So, one, two, three. And seven with my second platoon. Three, four, five, six, seven. So that's three, four, five, six. And six with my last platoon, but we're going to add his dice in as well. Mm -hmm. So that's going to give us another three. Oh. Ooh, another one, two, three for that. So that's nine total. Nine in total. So I am in cover, so I get to choose. Three, three, and three. That's oh, yeah, split. actually. Yeah. Damn. We're splitting as I go. All right, right. so let's start with the, the light infantry. <laughs> yeah. So they shock, shock, one point of shock on them. Next unit, yep, is shock, two twice. points of shock, yep. And then the final unit, yeah, man is dead, dead, man dead, right. Where we go, painful, painful, so painful. Putting the pressure on, yeah. Like as as I'm sure you can see, the Oop. the lines are really hammering at each other, <laughs> and it's getting really close. Tiffin. Ah, tiffin. And just there's no flags because I've just used all the flags I had, and I kind of think everybody, everybody. Yeah, we were using anyway. every flag we could there. Yeah, I think we're at tipping point here. Yeah, there's we're, there's going to be some. Someone's very about shortly. to go. We see. It's either going to be a killed unit. Yeah. yeah. Killed unit. Yeah. They may break as well. Could be. Wow. Red six. Oh God. Is Mitrek Kovac? Mr. Kovac, please be gentle. <laughs> He's chucking a fire into these guys again, yeah. and he's hitting on fours, fives, and sixes. You're rubbish, considering his fantastic early start. Two, two, and we're putting it here and here again. All right. So, for the more important one, yeah, it's nine. Fine. For the wow. less important one, it's uh, shock. Shock. That's the middle unit. Yeah. Oh. And oh, oh, oh. and red red five, five bloody which hell. is Igor Horvat. Now Igor is the second in command here, so he's going to take that point of shock off there. Good choice. I think so. Followed by blue flag. Uh huh. And followed by red, a red seven, seven which is Bilo Babic shooting from the house. Yep. On your naughty just Kellerman stick, sticking it to Kellerman then. He's absolutely. Oh! oh I wish I hadn't rolled that last dice. <laughs> Two hits. <laughs> Two hits. Okay. Heavy cover. Heavy cover. Finally, Dice fives and sixes. and sixes. No, does not care. Get away with it, because you're lurking in the bushes, as usual. Yeah. Two blue flags. Sharp practice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sharp practice. So oh. you're going uncontrolled. So Into you're going to fire. We'll leave you unloaded, but let's do it. Right. Seven dice. Followed yeah. by eight dice. Followed by five dice. So seven dice. Yeah. Oh, come on. I'll take Whoa, that. Oh, good hit. That'll be four. That'll be four. Followed by it. Yeah, see what I mean? If that if that had been presented, that would have only been one more. Yeah. So we got four so far. Five more. Oh, nine. And then the last one. Yeah, nine hits so far. Oh, oh, oh. Last one, how many? Yeah, a five. Just five? Yeah, because okay. uh, you're activating the, the unit, not the commander. Yeah. Yeah. And that's another three. Yeah. Twelve hits, six and six. This should do it. Come on. Two points of shock. Oh. In the on the main one in the mm. middle, which I kind of thought this. Now this is the one where we, this is a risky one because there's only three guys left. Only three guys left. Yeah. And <clears throat> that's three points of shock. So they're teetering on the edge yeah, and starting to pull back. Yeah. Puts them to the three. 
And the great thing for you is you haven't used you, your leader's activation yet. That was just a bonus activation. Yeah, but they are unloaded at the minute. They are unloaded, and we'll put the flag down. We'll put the smoke down to show that. Yeah. So, so we've got red three. Red three is Thomas Glenk, my Feldwebel over here, and he's going to just take a point of shock off doing the housekeeping. Red flag. Yep. So These you've used your two. We'll put them back. Oh, Oberst oh von Habsburg. Right. Wait, did you just put two blue flags back in the bag? Yeah, because they were the... Oh, put them back in the bag. Oh, they were the two you used. I was discarding the ones. I was meant to throw <laughs> them away. If you want to give me bag, I'll take it. Well, no. <laughs> I'm not that generous. Right, okay. So, I haven't got enough for a crashing volley from these guys, which... Uh, Unfortunately. Which is not surprising. But it's still painful, the amount of fire you're throwing in yeah, from there to here. If I could just get a crashing volley, you know, it would... Uh, yeah. It would hurt. So right, so three. that's three hits so far. Yeah. Oh, and I've got blue dice in my pile for some reason. Here, you take those. Cool, cool stealing. <laughs> so. All right, so three to start. Yeah, and uh, that is another one, two, three, four. So that'll become six and a one. And Seven hits. Six dice here, but and then I'm going to add my commander's dice to that. Mm -hmm. So nine, because he's controlling the fire. Oh, that one jumped out. Right, another one, two, three, four, five, six. God, thirteen hits against those three units. So that's yeah, four, so four, and five. So you get to choose where you put the five. Uh, the five. Mm. I'm actually going to risk it. I'm going to put it on these. Yeah, ones. it's tough, isn't it? Because these guys are getting worn yeah, they're away. Getting, at. They're getting yeah. worn away, yeah. but they're still useful. Yeah, they are. They are big time because right, these so are the guys who will potentially pick off my leaders. Yep. So, so four in order, it. four. Yeah, let's go for it. One man dies. One down. Uh, and it's not from... You can't roll under one, and the fire's from yep. line troops. So Next up's five. five. Another man dies and a shock. And a shock. And then the last one, which is four. Yeah. Oh, is another man dead and a shock. shock. Oh, this is painful. It's starting to pile up. Yeah, so you, you can see my lines are just starting to wear away up at the mm -hmm. back there. It's whether I can hold out in the center before. Mm -hmm. I think it's on six. Difficult to know. Von Kraken. Von Kraken, who is on the, the on his donkeys. Can they shoot? No, uh, they um, uh, they are dragoons. So you can theoretically dismount them and have them act in a very similar manner to these guys. Yeah, let's do that. And they're going to move. So they're going to dismount and move Fine. for one dice. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismount them here and have them move up here to maybe reinforce this to actually spread some more hits. Yeah, great. Well, all you've got to do there is just take those figures off. Right. And if you put replace um, them I with... Have uh, some here, yeah. Yeah, replace them with the dismounted figures, including the dismounted Von Kraken. Yeah. So we've got all that. And those guys, so just pop them where they, they were and they can move from there. So actually, because they're dragoons, they're really good. They're, they're skirmish troops. They only arm with um, light sort of musketoons, mm. uh, so they don't fire like the rifles do. But they uh, so are close range. Who cares? Action to dismount. Uh, yep. And then one dice of movement. One dice of movement. But they get an extra dice because they're light troops. So Lovely. you can have two dice. Uh, that'll be six, six. inches, yep. which should be enough to get me where I want to be, which is actually up through here. Okay, brilliant. So, so they'll just be strung out in a line along here. Yeah. So really coming up to reinforce the Kellerman. Yeah, they see Kellerman's just getting shot to hell. Yeah. And if I don't mind street about, I <laughs> about. Right. Uh, yeah. Frederick Fedor. Um, now Frederick is controlling our Croats, the green Croats over in the woods. Yep. Reload, yeah. fire. He hasn't got any uh, f uh, flags. But he has got two points, so yep, he could he will take drop one of the, He will drop the third off. Now, or actually, no, I'll drop the one, the yeah, one off the two, because that'll get me an extra dice. If you want to map, again, this is about the, the officers using their influence to control. That'll get you an extra yep. dice. So it's six. Uh, you've got seven there, which are down to six, and you've got five there. So that's 11, but you add his dice, so 13 in total. So roll them how you will, seven and six, total. whatever. Well, I've got 11 dice here, two yep. here. Yeah. And we'll roll that. Same target, we're just in. going straight into your main lines. That's it, four, fives, and six. That one fell out. Oh, nice one, roll. One, two, three, four, four hits. Four hits. So I'm in yeah. cover, so I'm going to put two on this group here in the middle, because they've got the most guys. All right, give me a sec to... Yeah, no worries. Yeah, and one on the, the ones on the edge. So I'm going to roll one for the first one, nope. which is nothing. 
One for the, the three, two for the next one. Oh, that's a dead and a shock. Oh, Ian. Nasty. But can't roll under the one. And can't roll under the one, so we don't check for a leader. And finally, I will miss the thing entirely. Nothing on that last group. Right. Okay, right. Oh, oh, so oh. what will the bag give us next? A red, red flag. flag. Followed by red, red four. Vladislaus von Frankenstein. Mr. Now, Frankenstein. Von Frankenstein. Let's see what he can do. Well, you see, you've got a lot of shock. Got a lot of shock. This unit. Now, I've got a lot of shock. You could use the flags. I'm going to use that flag, those flags, to bring him up to a level four, which really kind of. I uh, know if you pull all four off, you can't shoot. Uh, yeah, that's true. So I'm going to leave one on. Mm. Got to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. But that will also leave them. So they're ordered to activate. They've got two actions. So fire and reload. Fire and reload. Yeah. yeah. So we've got one, two, three, three five, guys. Fire. Yeah, three guys there. Ooh, five guys there. Oof. Ooh, uh, no. getting pretty Not shoddy there. In fact, that should I should have, I rolled too many dice there because of their shock, but uh, uh, yeah. I missed anyway. So. Uh, but you've got the other side. So just drop one dice off that. Good call. Okay, so that was five dice, so I'm going to roll four for that, but add two for Frankenstein. Yeah. See if we can do something here. Um, One, two, three, three, three four. Four hits, okay. Yeah. And seeing as I'm in the open, yeah. I assume it's going uh, one, one, two. One, one, two. Yeah. All right, so the one. Yep. The man dead. Is a dead. The one. Yeah. Is a dead. Ah. Oh. You said it was getting shoddy. Yeah. Last one. Is shock. a shock. Right. Ah. Okay. God. But it's. I've kind of restored that line. What I could have done, and maybe what I should have done, for one point, because these two groups together only make eight men, mm. is I can consolidate those. Ah. Which. But I missed the opportunity. Uh, red, red flag. flag. Blue, Blue four. four. Blue four is Josep Pavlik, who is the Croat sergeant over here. Yes, yeah, so they're the second in command. Yeah. Yeah, he's just going to drop the shot it off. off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's keep them functioning. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's right. Straighten up this. Sorry. Tiffin. Tiffin. Ooh. And a red card out. Yeah. Now, Anybody not activate it on your side? Yeah, I don't know. Let's have a look in the bag. That's the good thing about the chips is you can just pull it out and see. So blue, red two, which is the second in command, so no, everybody's been activated. Well, the second in command could be useful to you because he could, <laughs> but act, ah, but it's a unit. It's the unit you activate, not the leaders on yeah. the on the flags. Ha. So we'll put them back in. Yeah. Whoa. We are just tearing strips out of each other this game. It's kind of. Uh, Ah, Gunfight no, at the OK Corral. Tiffin, hang on. Yeah, now. Roll for the Roll for the guy, yeah. Four. Four. So, oh, they're getting all right. So seven. So let's put that up to five and two. So they're kind of getting on with the uh, first chapter of the instruction manual. Mm -hmm. So cards out. Red flag. Mm -hmm. oh. Come on. Blue six. From Perfect. Kraken. So from where he is. Yeah. He'll take his bonus move of one die. Yeah. See what he gets. A six. Six. Flawless. That's what he needs. Yeah. That'll bring him right up into the yeah. the cover here. Yeah. And then they will fire. Okay. So yeah, these that's little fine. Uh, musklets. They kind of what what we what we saying this whilst these guys are a bit squashed in here, they're going to be saying to those guys, shift out, we're coming in, and they're going to be making way. So yeah. whilst figures kind of take up a bit more space on the table than men do in real life so we just assume that the guys at the front will fire step back the guy behind will come forward and fire yep. so they can see so yeah, you've that, got that proper drill you would have seen yeah exactly so that's six dice and then Ron Kraken adds his two so that's eight they're close range with muskets but it's their first fire uh, but dragoons do not get first oh, fire oh you don't get first fire because you dragoons don't that's get right. crashing volley but you do get uh, they're aggressive uh, uh, bonus for being skirmishers. So ah. you're going to hit on threes at that range. I will take that. Mm. I will take that all day. Yeah. One, two, three, mm. four, five, six. Six. So that's Oof. two, two, and two. So suddenly that part of my lines mm. is mm. now a little bit stronger again. A bit reinforced, yeah. So two on the first group. Uh, point of shock. Yeah. On the four. Two on the second group. Point, point of shock. shock. And let's roll another two on that group there. No. Nothing. So just piling on the shock. Yeah. 
Keep racking it up. Has to be done. Absolutely. Right. Blue flag. Blue flag. Okay. Followed by... Blue... Blue five. Ooh. So, that's Ron Kellerman. Kellerman. So, he's the guy that's got three guys and himself left. Three guys. Uh, two guys. Two guys and, guys and himself. himself. And two points of shock. Yeah. So, he'll... Kellerman himself. He's a level one. He'll drop... Oh. Mm. Are you going to use your flags for that, or are you going to keep them for your... I'll use it to take one off, yeah, okay. just so that I don't lose a shot. Okay. So that'll be three shots. Yeah. And you know what? Where's the most effective place to fire with him? I uh -huh. think his most effective firing point now is here. Okay, yeah, he can really put the pressure on there. That's good, cool. Well, with, with three shots, he yeah. might do something. There's a hit. He's going to take a hit. And we'll roll to see what that is. Oh, oh no effect. Nothing. No, ah. no luck. Draw. Right. Red six. Oh. Ah, Michek Kovac, who started so well. Mm. Let's see if we can continue in that fashion. He's going to try and put the pressure on in the middle. Ooh. Fours, fives, and sixes. Three hits, so one, one, and one. But remember, these are the sharpshooters. They could actually kill yep. somebody if they shoot well. So starting from here, yep. first one. Point shock. of shock. Second one. Nothing. nothing. Third one. Nothing. Uh, no, you're in the oven, oh, yes. so that's a point, point of shock. shock. So, blue, blue flag. flag. Is it what oh. you want? Blue, blue flag. flag. Sharp practice. Now, if you sharp practice there, you would reload. Ah, uh, there's no, no point. Is there anyone else who has sharp practice though? Uh, yeah, the your Croats have, and they could reload as well. Yeah. <coughs> the Feld Jaeger, though. Yeah, you Feld Jaeger. They well, hang on. See, here's the thing mm. we haven't been doing. Mm. They just fired, mm. so they would be on a half reload. Yeah, that's right. So we need to put that in front of them. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> so we've we've been forgetting that. Yeah. I don't think there's anything to use a sharp practice on that's any worth. Keep it for the crashing volley then. Hope yeah. to get the crashing volley because that could yeah. really do some damage. Yeah. So red seven, seven. is Bilo Babic. Yeah. So Bilo Babic is still going to shoot at his worst enemy. Yeah. Now does that now spread across as well again? Yeah. Uh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that's so again. That's why I brought the dragoons. Get off the yeah. horses, get up on the line. Uh, and they're hitting on fours. So, so four five hits. hits. Four and hits? Ooh, four four hits, hits, yeah. Okay, right. so four hits. So it's <clears throat> one, one, and one, and one. Yeah. So that I can quite happily take. So you're going to go one, 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 and one. Yeah. So <clears throat> to start from <clears throat> here for yeah. this one. Oh, treat me nice. A two, that's fine. Mm. Next in the line. Mm. Three, that's oh, in hard cover. I'm sorry, I'm giving you the wrong advice here. I'm telling you the wrong thing. Because yeah. these guys are skirmishers. They can pick a unit. It's when you fire at a formation that you have to share it out. Ah, okay. So yeah, it's just all so four on those yeah, three guys? Yeah, kind of all on those three guys, yeah. Okay, let's do it that way then. Yeah. They, <laughs> they don't care. Much good, nothing. <laughs> they do not care. They do not care, right. Very okay. few guys heading in a small heads. This will work. Red five. Oh, five. Here we go. Uh, that's red five. That's uh, Igor. Igor is going to take a point of shock yeah, off. Yeah, just going to keep managing them. Yep. And followed red by flag. red flag. Oh, you've got two now. Yeah, I don't know that two really helps me, but... Blue. Blue flag. So oh. you could activate a leader who's not yet been activated if you wanted. But you know he's going to fire at the end of the turn. Or you know you can interrupt the next card if you want. What's the next? Blue and four? Blue four. Yeah, uh, you've, it's Josip Pavlik, who is the sergeant over here. Yep, he's just going to take just a point take off. one point of shock off. Yeah. Okay, and... Red four. Red four is Vladislav von Frankenstein. Now, do you want to interrupt at that point? Mm. Or are you going to, mind you, what kind of damage am I going to do? I think I'm going to leave it. I th do you know I'm going to take think, it on the chin. I think you're right. So we've got three guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do now, you want to order yourself Ron to? Frankenstein's going to take, use his first action to reorder his line. So he's consolidating into a he's single block of seven guys. Yeah. Now that does mean that we consolidate the shock. <laughs> that's fine. But that's not the end of the world. Yeah. So we've got eight guys and Von Frankenstein. So eight that guys? makes it oh, wow. ten. Okay. So All this ten? is the second action. So they're oh, nine, 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 nine. Hmm? Two points of shock. Nine. Oh. Nine is right. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> uh, of course, because I consolidated. I was looking at it. One of the disadvantages of consolidation, but there are lots of advantages it's there. Four hits. Four hits. So uh, you're in the open. So I'm going to put the two on the, the big important man. guy. Yeah. Yeah. So not important guy. 
one man dies. Mm. Sort of important guy. <laughs> Shock. Shock. Important guy. No. Nope. No. He's oh. magical protection. Yeah. Blue flag. Oh. Four blue flags. Four yes. Blue flags. It's a Brucey. It's the full bonus. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, mm. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let you draw. If it's the tiffin, you'll lose it. I know. I'm gonna risk it once. What I get? The blue, blue one. one. Oh. <laughs> That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Right. So they will activate. And Finish you, reloading fire. And a crashing volley. And a crashing volley. So we're in a double all shot here. Yeah. Target, of course, oh, straight into here. Straight into there, one group. Right, okay. So, five dice. Ah, uh, no. Mm. Mm. Is it a command or an action to get them to reform? Uh, it is a command if they're close enough together. See, what I'm thinking is, could I command to reform? No, because no? you need two groups adjacent to each other that between them add up to eight. Ah. So that you can't spread them between yes. those two groups. That's fine. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's five guys. Five um, guys. Use, no, he's a leader of three, so yeah. I will drop. Aha, uh -huh, good call. Two of these. Great management, yeah. You've actually got two more spare flags if you wanted to, because we are getting near the end I'm of the gonna turn. I'm going to pump in two extra dice. Yeah, so pop them. Are you going to take them in as extra dice for firing? Good. Yeah, great call. Let's, let's be vicious. That let's is a vicious. good call. That is a good call. So let's go seven dice over here then to start Just with. Three, There's four, your extra five, dice. Six, seven, yep. Okay. Good. Quick, Fours, good. fives, and sixes. That's five hits to yep. start with. Next is seven, seven. guys. Yeah. So seven again. <laughs> is one, two, five three, more. four, five. Yeah, ten. And then the, the next one. Five, is but then you add him in and make it eight. Yep. Oh my goodness. Yes. One, two, three, four, Seven. five, six. Seven. Seventeen, 17. hits on one unit, and we're going to double shock here because this is a crashing volley. Yeah, this, uh, this almost doesn't bear thinking about. I, really four, this has five, to be a, a six, big break seven, for you. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's Fourteen, go with 13. fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Four more. Okay. Do it all on the one. Okay, so we've got one, two dead. So Excellent. let's roll a dice to see if that's a leader. Yep. But before we, I'll do that in a second. Let's tidy these up to make sure we don't kind of knock anything out of the way, because we're piling on the shock here. That's eight points so far. Two dead and eight points of shock. Let me just tip that out. Yeah. There's so many dice. I need a forklift truck to move it. <laughs> is it the commander? It is no, not. it's not. So let's take the two dead off. Yeah. And then we add eight points of shock. Yeah. Giving you a grand total of 10 shock. Yeah, and we got six men with 10 shock. They're conscripts and volunteers, so that is eight additional. Well, we got 10 shock. There's four additional, four excess points of shock, which means that they fall back eight inches. Yeah. Now, it's a good job I consolidated because uh -huh. otherwise that would have broken up a formation that was yeah. there. But it is a forced movement. It is a forced withdrawal. And it's kind of painful. So we're going to roll a test to see what that does. Two. Actually, we ignore that Oof, remarkably. So I'm really pleased I consolidated that unit because that would undoubtedly have shattered that formation. Mm -hmm. But you have driven me off the barricade, which is a really big, um, a yeah. really big plus. It does mean that you have a lot of work to do to bring them back in. I'd be there all day trying to rally that kind of shock off. Red one. Right, here we go. We've got to do something here. So, so what this we're going to do... might be the other side of this coin with these yeah. guys going. Yeah, now we're going to take off two points of shot. I'm going to try and get them to charge over there, but the problem I've got is that they're firing uncontrolled volleys. So with all the smoke and the noise, can I get them under control? On a three? On a three. They're regulars. I do. Okay. Right, so we're going to roll two dice, taking the lowest off for charging over the hedge. And you're going to go four inches. And I'm not going to get there. <laughs> oh, I'm oh not going to make contact. So, oh but dear. potentially, I want my aggressive troops to get in there and really uh, yeah, do some damage. Stick the bayonet down your throat because I can't sit here while you storm up my central high street and uh, mm. steal the super gun. Well, this this is the thing. I have to break you. 
I have to break you, so where can I do it? This could be a lot more dangerous for you now because you're out of cover. It could be, but... But you could go first because we are quite close to the end of the turn. quite close to the end of the turn. That's what I'm thinking about. Ugh. If I get the lucky break... Yeah, red flag. That's three. Yeah, that is three, isn't it? Ugh. Wouldn't it be funny if I got a four? Oh, God, don't you do it. Blue no. three. Blue three. <laughs> Blue three. Friedrich. It's Frederick Fedor. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Reload! Uh, and fire. They're firing uncontrolled, so away you go. Yeah, so, so seven. Um, yeah. Oh, I took the chance. Yeah. Had to be done. You didn't have any flags out, I thought. Oh, All but one? All but one. And so that's six hits. And roll six dice here, but add Frederick, so make it eight. So eight. Mm. You sure it's eight? Yeah. That's, uh, Frederick. Oh, five guys plus him. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Generosity, yeah. I like it. It's cool. Uh, so Useless that was, at maths. <laughs> that's seven there. Yeah. Oh, that's another me. five. Another five hits. So that's six plus five is eleven. Yeah, eleven. So Split we're going to go. And you're in the open. Yeah. So the odds going on to your big commander. Four, four, and three. So you're going to put the four on here first. Yeah. Oh, it's four points of shock. That's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. Let's put your shock over there so we, we keep yeah, them discreet we and confused. separate. Right, so we've got six men there, but with a total of five points of shock already. These guys have got one already. Mm -hmm. So the next group, thank you all. Um, Four again. Right. Is, oh, just one point of shock. Is it not threes in the open? Oh, gosh, yes, two points of shock. Yeah, and then your last, the last ones. last group are just three. Yeah, they're just taking three. This should be okay. Or yeah, not. Great. That'll be a man shot dead. and a dad. Uh, and a point of shot. But I still reckon you've not done enough to stop me. I still reckon I can storm in there. See, I, the I right. don't know. If I get him going for that first depends, next round. Depends who you get first, doesn't it? Oh, two. Level two. Which, oh, so you can oh, just keep him manage a little bit. So he can take a bit of shock off there. That's what yeah. I needed. So the, the leader's waving his sword, getting them to drive them on. Yeah. <gasps> Is that the bonus? That Have is the four all? flag Brucey bonus. He's a level three leader, so he's going to take two points of shock off. Yeah. And he's going to get them to charge in. No crashing volley? No. All right. No, well, that, we've not seen combat yet. We're about to. Yeah. Right. Roll OK. Now you are fighting over a bark yet. Yeah, well, you're defending cover. Yeah. Four. Yeah. More than enough. However, no, I've got two points of shock. Oh, two inches? Gonna get us in. It's Just still gonna get us in. There's no And you are facing a charge unloaded. Yeah. Which is a bit of a painful thing to do. I didn't tell you about that and I'm glad I didn't actually. It's <laughs> something we haven't encountered before. So I assume because I'm not loaded I can't get a last gasp shot at you. Exactly. It, you would normally get uh, the dice this, would okay. This is why that sharp practice might be useful to sit yourself sitting reloaded the whole time instead yeah. of unloaded. Yeah, that's right. Now, here we go. We're gonna have to work through this. Now, you your guys are sucked into this fight, okay? Okay, these guys here. So, I'm making contact with three groups, All right? Who are over 50. All our groups are over 50 percent, which right. is kind of important because you've either got a full group or you've got a small group, right? All right, okay. So, we roll six dice per group, okay. Uh, however, are you? I'm regular, right. and you're conscripts and volunteers, I think, aren't you? Well, you've got my dragoons in there, or is it majority? Uh, it's a majority. Well, it's the majority, yeah. Yeah, so that's. Mm. Yeah, that's the croats. Yeah. C and V? Yeah, conscripts yeah. and volunteers. So I'm kind of a, qu a quality level higher here. So I've got six, six, and six, and you have got six, six, and six. So we're on 18 dice so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any leaders attached to the fighting group? Now that's any leaders. So I've got yeah, three. I've got three. Two and one. Oh, right. So that's six points. So for me, so, it's one, hmm. one and two. So that's four. So, yeah. Uh, he's actually level two. So that puts you up to five. Yeah. Uh, so that puts me on uh, 24 and you on 23 so yep. far. However, I am aggressive, so I get two per per group. So, so are my on thirty dice, and you are as well. My croats oh. and my dragoons. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that, I thought my aggressive was going to give me the odds here. So you add another six, so you're on twenty nine dice. Yeah. But I'm attacking uh, a minor obstacle, 
Um, so, but before we do that, hold on, we've got shock on groups. Yeah, uh, one, I've got one, two and there none. and two there. So I take two off for that, mm -hmm. and you take none off for that. So yeah. I'm kind of one down on you. Yeah, now. So, so I'm 20, 29, you're 28. 28 yeah. The obstacle down? Yeah, the obstacle. Uh, attacking a minor obstacle, which I am, is take one off in four. So for 28, I take off seven. So I'm down to 21. And I'm on and 29. You're at 29, yeah. So, ooh, could so be dangerous. Maybe. Right. Well, it will be probably right, I'll dangerous. I'll roll 9, 10, 10. Yep. And what do we go. need? Fives and sixes. As that kills and mm. shocks? Yep. Okay. For the nine? Yep. Uh, one shock? Uh, no, you basically, you are... Uh, let me just look this up to make sure we get this absolutely right in close combat. So there's one. Is that killer shock? Yeah, a five is a kill and a six is a kill and a shock. So right. that's just one so far. So one so far. Next up, ten. I need to drop one more in there. Uh, that's Ooh, that's a lot better. So three. that's four in total and uh, four total, two shock. Two shock, yeah. And then one more. Set of ten. Uh, three more dead and another shock. Yeah. So that's seven in total. Yeah. And three shock. Any chances of your commander dying? Yeah, lots. <laughs> All right, well, I assume fighting Sadly. is simultaneous. Yeah, it is. Yeah, absolutely. So if you roll 10 and so 11. And three, yeah, I roll 10 and 11. So four, eight, 10. I'll roll 11 and 10, I think. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just to be different. Just to be different. Okay, so One, what have we got two, there? Three, four, four. And two shock. Yeah, and ten. we're going to roll 10 then. 10 now. 4, 5, Another two six, shock. 7. 7 and 4 shock versus 7, seven and, and 3 shock, Yeah, which is a draw, uh -huh. which means we apply the casualties. So you, you can take them off wherever you want, I take mine off wherever I want. Mm. So the important thing here is to try and keep your groups above half strength. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take my seven off. I'm going to go one, uh, <laughs> two, three. That's going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. Four, um. five, six. So I will take seven. Uh, I've failed two. miserably. <laughs> Three, four. Mm. So that's everybody just over. Yeah. And I've got, I've got three more takes. So yeah, mm. one off each. Everybody goes to half strength. Yeah. Or should I? Aha. Uh -huh. No. Does it have to be evenly off them? No. You can take them off how you like because remember, each group you take, it's the leader with it that is going to take those casualties. I see. So it's kind of a nasty choice to make. So what I'll actually do mm. is, so I've taken four off. Yeah. I'm going to have none of the dragoons die. Yeah. There. Yeah. And one dragoon. Okay. Well, I'm going to take three here. So I roll for that leader. He's been hit. Right. That's my main man. That's a six. And he's lightly wounded. Okay. So let's roll for the force morale effect of that first. Okay. All right. Let me just clear the tray. We've been doing a lot of rolling on this one. This could be the point where it all goes pear shaped. It. And it looks like it. A five. That's two off my force morale. Oof. And let's roll for the guy in the middle who just lost. Oops, sorry. Let's do it in that. Two. Three. No, so he's okay. okay. And the guy on the end. Who, two. Oh, he's been hit as well. <laughs> and he's one. dead. Oh, so God. that's a junior that, leader dead. Oh. So your force commander is lightly wounded. So he's yeah. now down one. So we've done that. And yeah. I've rolled a two for there. Yeah. So that's a level one leader wounded. Fortunately, I'm okay with that. We ignore that. Yeah. So where did you take your casualties from? Okay. So the way I've done this is, mm. yeah. I've taken one from here. So let's roll the dice to see if Von Kraken gets hit. Yes. He does. So roll the dice to the effect there. A two. Is he's a level two leader. Yeah. So level two leader is wounded. One point off. One point off. So he's now level one. He's now level one. Wounded leader. One point off your force morale. Yeah. Um, so that's for off the force morale then. So three. Uh, I think. Yeah, no, it was one point off your force morale. Okay. That was what the last roll was for, yeah. So, okay. So rolled. So how many guys came off this group here? A lot. Okay. So basically, uh, mm. 
You had seven. One. So one off there, and it was... Six off there. Six off there. Roll the dice for the effect, because he's automatically hit by that. Yeah. So and he's two. knocked down. So roll the dice for a wounded leader. A six. Right, okay. Level one leader wounded is one point off your force morale. This is a nasty thing about having to choose where the men die because you're choosing where yeah. you risk your leaders and you're still trying to keep them. Again, this is why I took none off the far end. Yeah. And I thought taking one off the dragoons yeah. was safe enough, but I guess not. Yeah. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oh, he's done to level one. Oh. So we fight again immediately. Immediately? Okay, immediately. so we just keep churning? But things are kind of different now. Because <laughs> okay. we don't have anywhere near the same number of men. So yeah. I've got one group here at full strength. I've got two that are still counting as full strength. So I've got, you have. So I get six points, six dice for these guys, three dice for these, and three dice for these. So, so that's 12 dice. However, I've also six. got to apply my shock. Now the shock we apply evenly. So mm. I had to go one, one, and one. And yeah. you've got to apply yours one, one, one and decide where the one, second one goes. One, and one more into there. Okay, so I've got 12 dice, however, mm -hmm. that goes down to 11, that goes down to 10, that goes down to 9. My leaders involved are now a level leader 2, and a level leader 2, so that's 13 dice. 13. So this is kind of a lot less, because yeah. that full impact has gone in. Yeah, 13. what have we got on my side? Right. Now you've so got dragoons have one, so they're still fighting with six. Six, yeah. These guys are still fighting with six, uh -huh. and these guys are fighting with three. So that's fifteen. Fifteen. However, okay. you got one shot, so we ignore that. That's fine. You have got two shot there, so that takes you down one. Fourteen. So fourteen. You got two shot there, that takes you down to thirteen. Right. And you're not defending the obstacle anymore because we're kind of just fighting across it and mutually doing it. Then. So thirteen plays thirteen. Yeah. Seven followed by six. Okay. So it's. Really close. Fives and sixes. Two and Two. a shock. Yeah. Two dead and one shock. So, and roll your next roll. That'll be oh. two and a shock. So that's four and two shock. Yeah, four and two shock. Okay, and... Same for you. Yeah, so we want to roll seven. Yep, seven plays six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. None. Oh, oh no, none. just one guy dead. One guy dead. Okay. Ooh, I thought that was none. <laughs> and six. That's oh. a bit better. Four. Tied. Tied. Well, we don't carry on fighting again, you'll be glad to know, but we've still got to, uh, we've still got to do this again. We've got yeah. to apply our casualties. So, and that potentially is going to hit our leaders. Mm. Well, what I think I'm going to allow to happen mm. is from where we are, Yeah. I've got four casualties to take. Yeah. So I will take... Two here. Yeah. Two here. Okay. Because the, the leader who's down, yeah. I don't want him to do anything else, and I don't want to wipe out a full unit there. Oh, uh, sure. Okay, so I've got to take four. So there's no leader with that unit, so I'm going to take three off there. Yeah, but that is a unit destroyed. It is, and I'm going to take one off there. Okay. So that shock dies with it, but we've got to roll for the force morale for a group wiped out. Yeah. And four. that, for a group wiped out, is, what do I roll for? Two off my force morale. So it's tumbling down. Mm. Now, um, I, have to work out. I took one off there. Mm -hmm. So let's see. No. Five, you're fine. Fine there. But I've got to apply shock. Yeah. And I took, how many points of shock did I take? Three. Four. Four, well, okay. no, four dead, two four shot. Two shot. So that shot goes there, and that shot goes there. Yep. That means this unit here has got more shot than men. They only Backed fall back an inch, but it's an involuntary withdrawal. Yep. And six. my force morale drops even further. Oof. So there's the thing, this game, you will grind and grind and grind, and then suddenly everything goes pear shit. It all collapses. All right, so on the Dragoons, yep. I dropped two guys. Yeah. He's fine. Yeah. On the mm. uh, Croats, yep. I dropped two guys. Okay. He's not fine. Yeah. So okay. that's, that's their leader, so yeah. what happens to Roll him? the dice to see what the effect is. Four. He's lightly wounded, so his force, his... Down a level. level. Get down a level, but we roll for force morale. Wounded commander, a four. Uh, he's a level two leader, so four... Status two leader wounded is one point off your force morale. That's fine. So you're holding up, you're a couple of points higher than me, which is kind just of... Just about, just about, yeah. but jeez. Meat grinder there. Yeah. That was getting the same result. 
even if I'd won by one, or you'd buy one by one, one side would have fallen back, and the other side would have fallen back like six inches. So it, one side would have won. But when you get that draw, which is kind of highly unlikely, when you get it, it just becomes an absolute killer. Yeah. Uh, and as we can see, that's kind of the problem I've got here is I might ultimately win that fight, mm. but I'm just completely a pyrrhic victory, just minced up yeah. into bits. So I've used Red those three. four dice. So blue three. No, is, red three. No, red three, sorry, is my NCO who's dead, so I'm going to chuck him out the pack. Yeah. Uh, so he died. And then we've got... Red flag. Red flag. Well, I'm not going to get four of them. And it's tiffin. Tiffin. And everybody's gone, apart from blue two. That was one hell of a turn. Yeah. That was yeah. one hell of a turn. <laughs> okay, look at all that shock. I mean, the whole place yeah, the, is like... Yeah, the, the table is looking very... <laughs> I'm going to say dirty, yeah. just because there's so much shock about there, but it does simulate what would have been happening in a battle very, very well. It's a charnel house, isn't it? It's a real killer. Oh, yeah. But it's an abattoir. And I've got a... Because my because I, my force morale is down to four, Yeah. I take out one of my flags, so you've uh -huh. got the edge now in terms of your command capability. It's only a minor edge at the moment, so it's but... blue for a start. enough. Blue flag. Followed Red by five. Who is Red it? Five. Red Five is Igor. Igor is going to take one shock off. He's, yeah. He'll be there all day. Yeah, taking he's, shock he's, off. he's right here out the back, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Red Four. Okay, uh, that is von Frankenstein frantically rallying his men, taking two points. Why are you off. leaving? Yeah. The weapon. Oh, wait. The weapon. We forgot to roll for the weapon. Whoa, whoa. The Wunderwaffe. Three. Let's roll over here. Two. two. Oh. Okay. Right. We put that up. Somehow, I don't think I'm going to make it to 36. Blue. Mossack on Saka. Now, you've got some choices here. They are now firing uncontrollably. Yeah. He can certainly take some shock off. I mean, all of a sudden, his line that was looking like it had been a bit mousy. Yeah, no, now he, took a, he took a wound, didn't he? Mouth. So he's oh, yeah. down to leader two. Yeah. So he will drop one shot. Bit of shock. Yeah. And he will use the two flags. Yeah. To get rid of the rest. Yeah. Okay, good, cool. Actually, he won't. Mm. Uh -huh. I'll use those for sharp practice. Yeah. So they're starting the turn. So you're going to reload them yep. on the sharp practice. Yeah, and then they're going to go for a fire order. Yeah. Which, uh, so this is gone. Yeah. And mm. then they're going to fire. Do I want to fire into the house? Well, I was going to say, you've got some choices here. If you you could fire into the house at close range, and all that fire would be against these guys. Yeah, or but I they're can... in hard cover. Or you could fire down the road, which is likely to cause an involuntary withdrawal. I think I will. Um, because you kind of, basically, it's kick your enemy when he's down in this. Yeah. If somebody's so, running away, make sure he really runs away. Yeah, so you're he's a, still within my long range yeah. for the muskets. So away you go. So you're hitting on... Sixes at yeah. that range, so you're not going to so. get a lot of hits, but any damage is going to see them running. Five probably. guys. Yeah. For the first. Yeah. Uh, there's One. six. Yeah. And then seven guys for the next. Yep. Yeah. So seven. There's another. Another one, so that's a couple. Yep. Yeah. And then the last one is six guys. Plus, plus the two leaders. So five, guy, five guys, so seven oh, dice. Seven, yep, sorry. No worries. For it nothing. nothing. Right. So it's two. Two hits, right. And you're in the open. I'm suffering. Oh. Nothing. No Don't effect. Care. I got away with it. Ah. I got away with that. All right, let's keep drawing. Let's do that indeed. Blue four. Blue four. Blue four is Josip Pavlik and his Croats. So, the fight. <laughs> Once more, into the breach friends, once more. However, he does get a chance to rally some shock, but is he wounded? He did get wounded, mm. so he's down to a level one, isn't he? So he can still take one point of shock off because the fight happens automatically now. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. So he might as well and do that. I, actually, could I use that command to actually... Mm. Oh, no, but then the shock would all consolidate together. Yeah. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. And if right. I'm right, are the Dragoons out of the fight now? Uh, yeah, they are. So, okay, let's fight. Okay, so, so you've two got... Two half units is six. Three and three is six. Less point of shock is uh, five. Yeah. Plus your leaders. One and one now is seven. Yep. Seven okay. total. I've got three and three with two and two is uh, six, eight, ten, nine, eight, seven. Six. See, oh, didn't see that one. Six. Okay, roll the die. Uh, one dead. One dead. 
Let's see if somebody can break the stranglehold. I can. Too dead. Too dead. So I take my one dead off. I'm going to take it off this guy here because I really don't want to use my, lose my leader. Yep. So um, I'm going to roll the dice for that. Ah, no. The, the leader of this unit was actually knocked down. Oh, he was. So he shouldn't have fought there. He shouldn't have fought there. But as it is, the dice have favoured me and I've won, so I'll let you off your naughty cheating. <laughs> so, um, so I have to have two guys die. Here. That's where they're dying from. Right. Okay. So let's get that out of the way. All right. And we'll get rid of that. Get the base away, yeah. So you lose a group, group wiped out. So roll the dice for that. One or two. On your force morale. So probably one. Look at the quick play sheet. Yep. Okay. And because you have lost by one, of course, one more casualty than you have, you are retire six inches. You're still facing me, but your guys have fallen back. Okay. And I will take that position if only to get into some cover. <laughs> so that's an involuntary withdrawal, so you need to roll the dice with your force morale on that. Uh, a one? No, it doesn't affect you, actually. You kind of... Yeah, tactical as well. Tactical as well. Stood withdrawal. up to that. We'll put that in front just to show that you haven't... Uh, yeah, they still have they that, still that have reload that to do. Unloaded, yeah. And these guys, uncontrolled and reloaded, which is fine. Mm, but, hold on a second, actually, looking at that amount of shot now, these guys have now got double the amount of shot. Ah, yeah. So they're going to break. So how far are they going? They're again twelve inches back. So oh, and that'll break your formation. Break the formation. Tons of wonder weapon. I didn't see that. Uh, yeah. I didn't see that extra point of shot there. Right. Okay. So, so have a break the formation. Yep. Let's roll the dice. Six. That ain't good. Oh. That's breaker formation. I think that's two. I think that's two. Let's have a look and see. Formation broken by 50 50 cups, two points off, so I'm kind of only down to one point. Yep, well, let's. Okay. Um, Anything else happen? Or are we back no, to drawing? We're back to drawing. Okay. So, oof, that hurt. Right. Red, Red flag. flag. Followed by blue five. Blue five. Blue five is Jurgen Kellerman. Kellerman. Still in there, fighting from the first. Kellerman is going to take his free move mm. for one inch, but that puts him just to here. Yeah. And he's going to fire and over. He's going to fire over there. Yeah, so he does his, his half yeah. reload. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Told three and everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and he will fire with yeah. his. So you himself. got three dice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, needing threes? Yeah. No, yeah, needing threes, yeah. That'll be two hits. Two hits. You're in the open. I'm in, uh, I'm in light cover actually because I'm in the orchard, but uh, on, on a six. One man you know dies. What's going to happen? Two dead. Is it my leader? <laughs> It, it is. is. What happens to him? Two. He's knocked out. That means this force, also the second man dying, means that that force falls to two men. Yeah. They've got four points of shock, so they break. They run away 12 inches <laughs> along with their Where are you going? We roll a dice for them breaking involuntary withdrawal, but they ignore it. However, we roll a dice for their leader being wounded and it takes our force morale down to zero. Good game. <laughs> Tough. I, I was looking at it, picking the puzzle there at the end, thinking, he's so close. Can I finish it here? And just looking here going, if I even move a, an inch across here and I can just get that one yeah. more guy dead in yeah. there, jobs are good. It just broke it. They think they've won. They push the crats back there. Hurrah! And all of a sudden, from close range, They've got the Kellerman, the Sellerman, comes on the flank, yep. blasts away with his blunderbuss. Yep. And, and I uh, can imagine his rival sitting up here in the bakery looking down going, what are you, no, you're <laughs> fight with me. What? Yeah. Don't you, don't. oh no. 
Yeah. Well, that was a mincemeat. I have to say that mm. uh, this terrain, this orchard here, yeah. it just stopped me it getting pivotal. a line together. Yeah. Uh, and when we did, we were trading fire. We were both in cover and we weren't. And I thought, I've got to get in there and try and force him out to get on the flank of your yeah. main force. But it just didn't pay yeah. off. You see, my, my thinking was, I where I was at here, I couldn't mm. push much further. Yeah. You're on the barricades. Yeah. I can get my good rapid fire yeah. on you. Yeah. I've got a good defensive line here. These buildings hampered you a bit. Yeah, they but really did. It was a tight situation. But the great, the interesting thing was, you were three to two here, but I thought, oh, I'm behind cover. You know, I'm going to do the damage. Focus but and mean it. You really focused on that, using your sharp practice, using the sharp practice, using your cards to maximise the performance. a couple of bonus ones, yeah. That's it. And that really did the damage. Well, really did everybody, it. Uh, that was a fantastic game of mm. sharp practice. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, really interesting tactical choices. If you have any thoughts, pop them in the comments below. We'll move on. We'll see you in the next one. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.